So, um, <laughs> today we are going to, uh, to review, uh, the, the match between, uh, ex Oblivione and British Hurricane and EU contenders, and, and this match was interesting in that, like, we saw, like, ooh, thanks for the follow, uh, Crimson Nut. I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, I'll assume that's how I pronounce it. Uh, so, um, this match is interesting in that it featured, like, one of these two, two of these things. So, firstly, like, um, X Oblivione, I'll just call it EO, played, um, played a double shield, like, on one map, like, pretty much exclusively against British Hurricane playing Brawl. And secondly, we see quite a bit of Doomfist Brawl, like, on both, on, like, a single team it's not a mirror and like a difference between doomfist brawl and like more traditional okay let me see if i check my settings right and the difference between um doomfist brawl and uh, may brawl is that like um doomfist brawl is more about like um getting like doomfist so you have doomfist setting up doomfist on angle and then you have the core which is like the five others like you also have kree which may also set up on another angle and maybe D.Va as well, but uh, you get Doomfist, like, you, se you set up Doomfist on an angle, and then, like, eventually what you want is, like, you want, like, combined pressure from your, like, your core and Doomfist. So, like, uh, you want to, like, set them up on an angle, and then, like, you go in, like, together, and the keyword is together. Like, you can't have Doomfist, like, stagger in. Otherwise, like, they're just gonna clear the Doomfist and, like, rush your team. Meanwhile, meanwhile, like, May Brawl is, like, more of a pokey version of Brawl than Doomfist. In that, like, uh, how, uh, like, a May Brawl would be a Doomfist Brawl is, like, um, they, they try to, like, absorb the aggression from Doomfist first. Like, when, like, Doomfist goes in, the core goes in, they have to kite back. Like, they must kite back. Otherwise, like, they're gonna be de dead because, like, Doomfist and the rest of the core going in is just too explosive for, like, a head-on fight. So they have to kite back. They have to, like, speed back. And then, like, once, like, Doomfist is forced out, once you use cooldowns on Doomfist, like, the, the thing is that, like, many teams will just, like, sit there. Like, they'll just, like, sit there because, like, they use stun, they use cooldowns, but, like, if you do that, then the Doomfist is just gonna go in again because Doomfist cooldowns reset so quickly. So, like, even if you're down cooldowns, like, against Doomfist Brawl, like, if you force out the Doomfist, like, there's, like, a couple second window where, like, you have to go in. You have to. Otherwise, like, you're just gonna, like, Doomfist is gonna have, like, a second chance. So, um, anyways, let's go on to the review, and we're gonna review two maps today. It's gonna be a short stream, but let's go. So, um... BJ, let's focus, though, on... Let's, 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 you know, mute the stream a bit. I mean, like, mute the contenders video a bit. So, um... To come because Exo has done it so many times. Um, British, British Hurricane are playing uh, Brawl, like standard, like, um, Sombra. Sombra Sim. I think this might just be temporary, but, okay, I'm not sure. This is really interesting. So, like, looking at the Sombra Sim, it looks like British Hurricane is really committed to, like, you know... So and and the Moira and it looks like they're not going for like more like sustained poke fights like obviously you don't want to go for sustained poke fight poke fights against double shield but like they're just gonna go for like really fast fights where to use the sim TP to teleport maybe to high ground and then they're just looking for like a straight on like head on brawl. British Hurricane, they have a great so um what ex Oblivione have to do is firstly they they, well. they need to be like getting as much poke in. Like, before British Hurricane engage, and this means, like, taking really long sight lines. Like, this is, like, true against, like, almost all brawls, but this is especially, like, against this brawl. They have to be, like, getting, like, some initial poke damage in before British Hurricane can just go in. And, um, secondly, like, when British Hurricane are, like, in position to, like, go in, like, they have to, like... Ex Oblivione, what they should have to do is, like, they have to kite back proactively. Like, they have to, like, kite back, just like in, like, the Doomfist example I was showing. Otherwise, like, if that doesn't happen, then, um, then, like, British Hurricane will just, like, you know, kill, like, all these ex Oblivione, like, instantly. And, like, they're looking for quick fights, as shown by their Moira pick. Like, they have, like, really long short-term, like, I mean, really big short-term sustain. Ooh. Oh, thanks for following again. I'm not sure why. <laughs> Notification <laughs> showed twice. So, um... To be able to take this out. So yeah, like, ex-oblivion only have to play this carefully, though. But, um, 
Their advantage is just that, like, um, they have, um... If British Hurricane don't, like, you know, get their job done quickly, then ex Oblivion will just, like, outspam them. So right here, um, they have the sim as well, like, I'm not sure why this is a trend, but it is, and... How this will work is that, like, um, it will be, like, Arista setting up on this angle along with the core and the Sigma will be setting up on another angle. Now, this looks a bit risky to me. Um, this is a bit risky because, like, uh, I guess it will... Because, like, if they just, like, go top and rush, like, the Sigma, the Sigma's pretty much dead, so... Uh, I think that, like, what X Oblivion only have to do is they have to, like, scout this really early and see if they're going up top. Otherwise, like, if they're going up top, then, like... There's no way of going about it. This Sigma's dead, so... This Sigma will either have to, like, wait for scouting information and, like... Or scout himself, Me, I don't know. I don't think that's really possible without, like, in putting himself in danger. But, like, this Sigma's, like, kind of, like, a... <laughs> he is taking an off-angle, which is good. It's always good... Almost always good to take off-angles on double shield, but, um... Like, to spam them from, like, a concave, like, multiple angles, but, like... This is, like, a bit, like, ballsy by him. Um, by Sigma. I think that, like, how... I think that how it will work is maybe, like... Well, did they even set up a teleporter? And, and look at this, like, they, they just go lower and they just teleport up here. And I think the Sigma's dead. So I think... And, and they're... And, like, oh, yeah, their plan was to, like, you know, use Sim, Sim TP to, like, save the Sigma in case it ever gets rushed. He ever gets rushed, but, um... Maybe it's like just like a bait to bait out cooldowns by a British Hurricane, but um, definitely really interesting. This is like a lamp, like just in case, like you know that TP like failed for some reason. So like British Hurricane, I think they use quite a bit of cooldowns. Like, I, like uh, if they're if they're running like Bap Blue Seal, then it's okay. But, like, uh, the longer the British Hurricane take on Moira Lucio, because they're more running Moira, the better, like, Ex Oblivione will be in. Finally, they don't have TP for 12 seconds, so, like... And where the fuck is the cart? I think it's, like, back there, so... I don't know, this is probably gonna be a really scuffed fight. Because, like, British Hurricane, they do have to clear the high ground, eventually. They can't just stand... They can stand on a gas station, but, like... But, like, you know, they can just, like, if they're standing under a gas station, then eventually, yeah. Then eventually, like, they can just get poked out from, and like, angles that, like, Ex Oblivione sets up. As you can see, like, they can just set up angles and they... Position. So, like, British Hurricane, they try to clear the high ground. But uh, how did, um... You know, I, I won't pronounce Fuki, it. How did the their sim die? Wait, how did their sim die? The this is interesting. Oh, it's two different accounts. Uh, I, I, I'm kind of blind, sorry. Wait, wait. It, it's from a dynamite. Oh, that's tragic. So as you can see, like, British Hurricane, like, you know, in, like, trying to, like, rush the Sigma down, like, they kind of, they kind of, like, you know, not only use, like, cooldowns, but, um, also, like, um, they also get, like, kind of low, so, so, like, the longer that, like, this team takes against this team, like, the more potential that this team has to pick. So, like, as risky as, like, this Sig bait was kind of, like, um, I think it was, like, it ultimately could work out well in the end. Like, look, this was a good pole combo. Pole plus, I think, yeah. Pole plus uh, Ash Dynamite and mastering these combos is important in playing double shield. That's why That's why Arissa was like so so like uh, This why Arissa is like preferred over like options like Like you know hog and like ball like hog like after like Arissa was nerfed But like before like the halt nerf like that's why Arissa was like so good Arissa like uh, Arissa's halt was basically like a mini haul a mini like grab and like any, like, in a team environment especially, like, in ladder, like, Ryan was still, like, pretty much the most common tank below GM, but, like, in, like, a team environment, like, Orisa, like, Halt is just, like, unreasonably powerful, like, you can just coordinate with so many things, like, you can coordinate with, like, 
maybe five orbs, maybe like a rock. With Sim, maybe like right Sim right clicks, which I think do AOE damage. Um, you can even or like dynamite. So like, halt usage in in like a team environment is like, if you do it right, it's overpowered. So yeah, I think the bait actually works well. And like, they do get the Sim, but like. But I mean, like not the sim. I mean the Zen. But like, if but like the Zen isn't gonna be like high value anyways. Once like Ex Oblivione engages, like Zen is a poke face hero, and if Zen gets like picks, like Zen gets like a lot of poke in the beginning, then Zen has already done gone like a lot of value in the team fight. And now like British Arcane tried to clear the high ground, but. But like, um, I think a lot of them just take the TP. Let me see. A lot of them just like, you know, TP to the other side. Meanwhile, keeping the Orisa. They're, um... And I think the Sim TP could... Is like... The Sim TP that Ex Oblivione uses is actually like, kind of like a rotation tool for like them. Because like, if as you can see, like British Hurricane rush like top. But like um, but like they just teleported back. They just teleported to here. So like, Wrap up around. and it didn't matter. And like if they were running something like um, this one of the disadvantages of this comp like the Sombra like, Sombra Sim in that like if you're running something like Kree and May then like. Kree and Mei could like just like destroy or even Bap. Even Bap could just like shoot the teleporter and like kinda or kinda like, you know, destroy like Ex Oblivione's source of like mobility. But um since they don't have like crew any like sort of poke damage then like and like in Brawl, like not having any like sort of poke damage is actually really dangerous because like if this was if this was like a dive comp, for example, let's say it's ball like ball sigma or something, then uh then, like, you want some poke damage, at least, like, let's say there's a ball, like, you want poke damage so that, like, the ball can't just stage anywhere in, like, the, can't just stage anywhere in the map and, like, just slam your backline for free. That's why you don't see things like Reaper May anymore in Brawl, like, except in some certain scenarios, because, like, because, like, poke damage, like, on Brawl is just, like, even the like even poke damage is valuable in Brawl, because, like, it, it, the thing is that, like, poke damage prevents, like, teams from like you know just like you know going around and setting up anywhere behind your team like it prevents them from like going prevents the enemy from going behind you as like aggressively so um or like in this case like it prevents like sim from like placing a tp anywhere it's like oh it's an everlasting tp because we have some sombra like sim so like they already get a lot of pokes in ex oblivione and they just rotate here using the turret i mean not the turret the teleporter and this is this is bad because like hmm, wait they use window yeah they use window to set up a crossfire which is i think this is a good window yeah this was a good window so uh let's look at the ultimates um they could play slow for emp but um with this type of comp it's gonna be a bit hard because like this is like against playing slow yeah, and if you like try to like you and for summer to farm like against like especially like these car wash these car wash turrets like like um if for for like somber to farm you need something to like distract like you know you know kind of like draw attention away from the somber so like somber can farm but like this would require like at least like some longer term sustain and like this is not gonna is not compatible with longer term sustain so like i'm not sure i'm not sure but if any, anyways like what ex oblivion i should do is just like you know try to get like some early poke in and then just pop alts like any of these ults will just win against this. They have no immor as well, so, so excited because at some that's point, the that's why I think Moira is like strictly point, inferior to like uh, Bap, like except in like if you're running like a Winston Tracer Sombra or something. It's just that like in general, like sustain in modern Overwatch, like sustain like 
is preferred like over like you know you know kind of like these like these like really like cheesy like burst burst like you know impact so like base so like bap is like really consistent impact right so this is like bap and like since bap has like consistent healing like you, you can take like long longer sustained fights but like moira is like oh the healing orb plus like the you know the the healing from like the juice like uh, it's really powerful in the beginning but like eventually it will just like you run out of juice and you run out of like your orb and and like it will just go down in value so like the thing is on mon overwatch this has proven to be better like consistent value is better than like you know having to like you know finish a fight in like the first like 10 seconds or otherwise you lose and like this is why like for to an extent like double bubble is played like traditional dive it's either like um you you go in like you just like win the fight immediately after staging or like you if you lose the dive you don't kill anyone then like they're just gonna kill you so like um so like double bubble is kind of like the opposite it's like a, we scale like really well over time like the longer you leave us to our own devices the more we get stronger so that but like if you like play like some comp like you know double shield then we can still win fast like we can just get a close short sight lines but in general like we can play at a wide variety of variety of tempos and still make it work depending on like uh, uh how much energy Zarya has or our ultimate situation but like the thing is that like long term sustain just gives like um the option like the freedom of like playing at different tempos and something that like something like moira doesn't provide so anyways enough over analyzing so now like they're trying to push and clear the high ground which is good like clear this high ground at least and mm, this zen is so they had zen sig they don't have transcendence to counter that tank line is just going to disintegrate. Oh, and they destroyed it. Yeah, destroyed a TP. Mm, this is kind of scary. And so Sombra's drawing attention, and this prevents, like, you know, the Zen from kiting too early. So this is kind of scary for the Zen, but like, um, if. But like this is the thing with like double shield split. So even against brawl, it's you have to like split against brawl. Like you can't just fight brawl head on. But like it's more important that's like the the splits are like mutually supporting. And that like if you like push one of like you know the if you push like one of like the split the players who are split, then like at least like they can receive like you know a crossfire. Like the mo most important thing is like there's a crossfire in between like the split. So like. As you can see, like, if British Hurricane pushed, like, you know, Zen, ex, ex Oblivion a Zen, then, like, this, the core can just, like, kind of, like, you know, can kind of just fire from them from the sides and forcing them to, like, you know, give, like, at least this angle some respect and slowing down, like, the rush. And, like, if they get too greedy with the Zen, like, let's say, all they really have to do is, like, they have to clear the Zen and then they should focus on, like, clearing the high ground. But, like, if they are too greedy in chasing the Zen, they can chase the Zen into, like, you know, Ex Oblivione's kill box, then like it's it's just gonna be like they're just gonna like be get out spammed, especially if you don't have any long term sustain. Oh, how can see like I can see like Diva had to use like almost all of her matrix just to like you know secure that angle. This is scary. And this is where the lack of Immor shows, like, uh, they did pop Bongo, but if they had Immor, then they could just, like, or, or like, they could just, like, try to, like, play, like, here, try to, like, you know, wait for a couple cooldowns to reset. I think that, that's what I would prefer, like, play this cover more, and then, like, try to wait for, like, you know, a bit more DM to reset, and then, like, you try and, like, clear high ground. But, um... But, like, uh, even then, like, there's no Immor, so there's no long-term sustain against this comp. I wish I could see, like, Moira POV to see, like, how much healing she, how much, like, resource she had, but it's, I don't think this, this team is just taking so much damage. Um... And they just pop ultimates to win, and they have no Immor, like, Ex Oblivione has more as Immor. 
like uh, I, I reckon like a straight on brawl like a British Hurricane could like just still even lose because like the lack of Immor. They uh, like even if like British Hurricane get to the high ground if if like the map just drops Immor then like they're still gonna have trouble a bit of trouble unless like you know the Moira just kept like resources to like you know heal them but uh, they're gonna have trouble even brawling with this team. Like Arisa Sigma is like as 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 much as like you know a poke comp like Arisa Sigma is actually pretty damn brawly. I'm not gonna lie. Like Arisa Sigma, like yeah, that's why like you see like in the earliest like uh, days of two 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 Rolock, then like you saw like things like you know Reaper Doomfist double shield. There's no point of playing Ryan when like you have something you have Arisa you have like Arisa who had like a better shield. Like 900 HP shield that just prevented all poke. Like there was no reason playing like poke like long range poke because of all the shields and also like the the halt for like playmaking as well like the halt plus punch or or like halt blossom. Those were too powerful to give up in exchange for like you know fucking fire strike and charge. So um. So now like British Hurricane just like try to clear the high ground directly and. And this is like I think this is like uh, what they have to do with like this this Moira pick because they can't just like go here because they're just gonna get outpoked and Moira's just gonna run out of resources. So like um, they have to like do this. They have to like just run oh. it like that. Oh, they're bringing the fight close quarters right now, and it immediately gets deleted. Look how big backbone. Okay, oh, hmm, the why did they drop? Fight and transcendence is available here for Exo, so you never know. Oh, they're bringing the fight close quarters right now, and it immediately gets deleted. Look how big Backbone's beam is, though. And he's gonna back off, and that's oh, something else. Just I, uh, uh, I'm, I'm puzzled. Why did they all drop? Now having that teleportation Are they just the trying to force the point? Going to focus it down. I mean, you still have Vestola that could well, why, why did, in, oh. to be wary of those turrets. It gets immediately taken oh, they're trying... They no. Try oh, I forgot to, like, check the ultimate. No one to so, like... Damage quickly, now having that teleportation... That's... Is available here for Exo, so you never know. Oh, they're bringing the fight close quarters right now, and it immediately gets deleted. Look, oh, you never know. It's like one option could be like you know. Oh, do they have where did they have their Sombra set up? I'm not sure. One option could be just the EMP here and like brawl directly, but. Is available here for Exo, so you never know. Oh, they're bringing the fight close quarters right now, and it immediately gets deleted. Look, so. Even if British 30. Wait. Well, where's the Sombra? 130 though. 130 and this payload just. Are they just trying to like. Oh, this is like a. Back. Kind Even of a confusing. Can be successful in this next so they teleport here. here for Exo, so you never know. Oh, they're bringing the fight close quarters right now and it immediately gets deleted. Hey, look how big. They could just. I'm not sure where the Sombra is, but they could just be drawing attention away from like the Sombra just so she can set up and scout around. But um, I'm gonna back off, and that's something else. Just still being able to rack up. I can see now the Sombra is in position. Like I, I think they just didn't want to engage without Sombra. Thirty and this payload just slowly pushing its way on back. One thirty. Hurricane can be successful in this next fight and transcend. Like I was expecting. What I was expecting was actually for like Sombra to like. Let me check. How how I was expecting for Sombra to just like synchronize the EMP with like this. Synchronize EMP with um with with like the the TP going in, but perhaps like they wanted to. Okay, let me see how this fight goes. <laughs> And that's something else, just still being able to rack up that damage quickly. There is a danger of doing this and that, and, like, someone could just gets picked off. No one to focus it because, of, like, this is, like, kind of like the kill box, but they're using the gas station while it's covered. End, but you still have to be wary of those turrets. It gets immediately taken out, and the EMP to follow up with the coalescence engaging. They find five members slay. Still was able to pull the trigger on the transcendence that keeps Exobivione alive. And that's a great foot in, but still British Hurricane. They're finding these picks of fire strike on top. Okay, what? Uh, how do they almost? They have to commit like you know how many? They have to commit like three alts just to win this. 
I think what- oh, whoa, like, they had Zen- oh, I forgot, I think what they were afraid of is actually, like, they- they, like, they were afraid of, like, Zen, like, you know, transing, like, teleporting in and transing. I'm not sure it will disable, like, the TP, but, like, I think they were afraid of the trans. But, do they- But they don't have the Zen. And like the trans just like you know keeps up like the keeps up the tanks. I think they were trying to like you know get the Zen first before like like the EMP like they're trying to rush the Zen. But um. I'm not sure why they, they like TP'd up here and then like you know try to TP up here. This is kind of confusing to me. I'm not sure what that initial teleport was for though. It didn't accomplish much. Like this is confusing. And because they didn't manage to kill his end, they have to commit like a lot of ults. I, I mean like Exoblivion, they also committed a lot of ults. They committed the flux. But like there was a chance they could have even lost that outright without... If they didn't have like that ult bank to work with. I do take the point though, so. Close the gap, especially with all this high ground control. So again, like the same thing, like this is gonna be a bit better for like the Arisa Sigma team. Longer sight lines, and, like what matters are like the sight lines. Like you can set up Arisa like on high ground, Sigma on another angle, maybe you can pivot between this high ground and what like British Hurricane have to do is like they have to clear the high ground. They have to like uh, maybe go here, but like still again like long sight lines here, but at least like the damage is probably only going to be restricted to one angle, but um, this is this is like a pretty good like you know for Arisa Sigma, long sight lines. And it was already a struggle for BH. Yeah, you have that teleportation right there, so that way you could change up your rotation. You can see like, I think they're trying to maybe TP to clear the high ground. They're playing under there to like wait for. Wait, wait, what what what, what is like this? What, what, why, why, why is Vestal away wasting so much, taking so much damage? Like, like the more damage, like the more damage you take, Diva, like the the more like your Moro have to heal you, and and that's not what you want. Oh, oh, that was a mistake. Oh. Wait, why, why do they just run in? What? What, what, what the fuck are they doing? Like, like, why did this Lucio go out? Why, why, why didn't they, like, organize, like, a clean rotation somewhere? Where, where are they trying to go? They, they look lost. This is, this is, this is just so sloppy. So sloppy. What, 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 what are they doing? And, like, just... And they have to, like, teleport back. At least they have a teleporter to go back. But, but just, like, staying this room for, like, 10-15 seconds is just gonna be, like, so much dynamite. Like... Bob used, I mean, like Ash used alt let the last fight. Let's see, uh, let's see how much this dynamite does. Oh, it does get eaten though. So. Oh, it doesn't. It just hit, it doesn't hit. It only hits Diva. And Diva's like, hey, I'm gonna take more damage because I can. I'm like, whoa, what? What? What the fuck? Okay, I don't get it. I don't get it. I really don't. And, um... Do they get there? Oh, Sim just gets killed. Okay, this... Um, I think this is kind of... Well... This island by himself that could be available. Okay, so so this is just like a silly mistake. Like Sim is just trying to set up a teleporter while in Ash sight lines without like Diva defensive matrix. So bad communication by British Hurricane. They're trying to like clear the high ground, which is good, but the execution is just so sloppy. Okay, okay, let me see how. 
Okay, this this Sigma is like well mispositioned. Why are they? Why is why is he so forward when his team is like you know over here? What the hell? It's not like mutually supporting. Well, it is kind of like. Uh, there is Ash like looking at uh, at them, so like this Sigma could be like kind of like a bait, but like even then this yeah, it, it, this is like kind of overextended. Like they just rushed down the Sigma, so like both teams make big mistakes, but yeah. so like it's still like winnable for both teams. Oh, 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 this is, this is smart, this is smart. Look, look at this, like, they're, they're trying to, like, use a card to get to the high ground, but, like, they, Arissa just pulls them back, back down. This is, this is, this is smart. And, 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 and it, and it, it actually, like, I think this might have won the fight, like, this whole, this is brilliant. Uh, okay, I'm not sure why Vesela wastes like so much Matrix. Like they're like there's a Matrix Matrix plus like Rhine Shield. Like, what 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 is Vesela protecting? What is this Matrix for? There's like if if she, if like she uses all of the Matrix and there's no Matrix to eat that halt that one of them. I think like they were scared of like you know the Ash, but like even then like there's a Rhine Shield. His feet were planted and this is sloppy. Instead, just managed to. And even then, like, uh, I think Diva was trying to go for Ash, but like, why? Why is Diva like you know standing on the ground, not even using boosters yet, and and then like DMing? Why? Just just like stand like maybe natural cover here, and then like when you're trying to get the Ash, then boost with DM. Like, sloppy. Feet were planted and instead just managed to narrow down onto Yikids. Like, and, and and this halt just won them a fight, like no doubt. Like they they do pop bongo, but like, lo like they just set up like multiple angles around British Hurricane. That's how you exactly should be playing double shield. Using those halts to like achieve to, to like you know combo and to like get people off high ground. he absolutely needs it. It's gonna be a requirement. I feel like this. So right here, like um, the ultimate situation is just so bad. Like, like there is like well, well actually like there is like, there are close emp so so I, I i take that back um they are close emp so they can just like emp and and then what they're looking to do is that they're, they're they switch like you know the tracer somber comp which means that they're gonna be looking to like pincer with like their uh, tracer tracer sombra and then like they're gonna probably jump in into like they're just gonna int and then just try to get a kill rapidly and because they do have like coalescence, they could try like split some people out because like the more a range, like la lack of range, doesn't really like hurt them anymore with coalescence. So they could try to like go for like a triple like pincer. So like if they scout this out, they do have to be clear careful while playing split. Oh, and he does find Slay too. That Slay going down first, and that means no transcendence in this fight. That does find four members. Okay, this uh, this is this dive was questionable though. He's got the transcendence generated, but look at this positioning that Slay. Out of the so they're playing Tracer Sombra, and they want to go for a squishy, right? But they're going for fucking Arissa. And even worse, like. But look at this positioning that like why that like this sim tour this sim tp open. is is like good so but why don't they like why don't they like force at least like force these people to like they have coalescence they have like a bit of sustain like they could just like literally coalescence and try to like clear these people first and then go for the emp play right here like why do they go for arissa like like there's the sim mode didn't get hacked because like they they didn't clear like these angles first, they didn't force them back into one clump. Like like the, there it was a good wall by like this like the sim, but like this is so sloppy. That Slay has, he's out in the open. Uh, like well, why why are they why are they fucking focusing focusing on Arissa? Okay, where's the where's the Zen though? generated but look at this positioning that slay has he's out in the open oh and he goes fight but look at this positioning okay that slay so where, has. where the fuck he's is the zen he's out in the open oh, oh, 
They're right in, right in there. So, to an extent, the Zen was also in this position. I think it's somewhere like here. He's out in the open. Oh, and he does find Slay too. Positioning that Slay has, he's out in the open. Oh, and he does find Slay too. So the so like the Zen just dropped and was kind of mispositioned. I don't know why. I think it was a positional error by Slay, but um, but like in general, like the macro execution of this is just so poor. Like, like what? Oh, and he does find Slay too. That's Slay going down first, and that means no transcendence in this fight. Like they're just they're they're just going for like Orissa. Like the, that's the only target they could get, clicking Orissa. And like, members down first and he's out in the open. Like, even though I don't really like this, I don't. I'm not a big fan of this comp. Like, like on this map because like uh, the sight lines are just so long, you can just get poked out before so much. But, um, uh, but like, at least, like, maybe go for the Ash, who's, like, you know, kind of the real problem. It's not Orissa, Orissa's just an anchor. Oh, and he does find Slay, too. That's Slay like, like, look, look how much value the Ash got. In this fight. And, does find four and, and getting the Zen actually bit them in the back, because the, now the Diva's out of position to, like, block any of the, to, like, deal with, like, the thing, with, like, the Ash. Oh, my God, this is... Oh yeah, so um, like, oh bad, oh my god, this is, uh, I don't, they clearly don't have much experience with this comp, but. and if they do win this, it's, it's gonna be like, they, they commit the beat as well, for sustain, they, they should just win with just EMP and Cole, but. like, especially as they killed, like, Slay, they're, and they got the they got the tracer though. That, that was it was the ash yeah the ash and I think like British Hurricane do have response that's their silver lining but it's it's gonna be like a, a messy fight because it's so sloppy. Yeah, and, even in the process, they're, they're and this fight is just a clusterfuck, and now, like, even in the process, bro, now, like, now that the respawns are coming, like, X of Lovey you know, they should kite back, like, now, 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 kite back, don't, 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 don't fight them head on, fight, kite, 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 this is also kind of sloppy from Mr. Livioni. Like, just kite back. Don't be greedy. Or, like, at least kite back until, like, Slay comes back, and then you can kind of, like, try to push in a bit, but... This is a bit sloppy by Smex. This bomb... Mm, mm, what? Yeah, British Hurricane isn't able to rack up a lot of this damage quick enough. I think kills at the same time. Yeah. Come through while there's simultaneously contesting. Like there's there's someone kills at the same time. Yeah, British Hurricane isn't able to rack up a lot of this damage quick enough. I Ooh, good like shots by like uh... Yeah, British Hurricane. But like here, I don't like this Diva bomb. Like I think Diva. At the same time. Yeah, British Hurricane isn't able uh, to rack up a lot of this damage. Like Diva wasn't there to like you know peel for Winston when. When he went in, like, all, like all, like all it did was just like you know, tell the enemy team, hey, I have no diva for the next five seconds. You can just shoot us, and like, we're and like you can do, we can do nothing about it. We have no diva. So like, Fuki like capitalizes. I don't like this bomb particularly. Even though it is last fight, so that's why. But like, at least kind of use it later. You still need to help your Winston, and then like when you're in, like when Winston finally forces out cool announce, and then you can like bomb and get a eventually get a pretty good bomb. Like sloppy, basic mistakes. And this is just gonna be a stagger fight. Oh my God. This is this is a tragedy, and they have alts to burn, so. So like they trade. Wait, wait. They they should not be winning this fight actually. Oh, so, so they switch off the Sigma now they're on Diva. Definitely a scary moment. And it's looking like a scary moment if I were British Hurricane. Yeah, definitely a scary moment. On top of everything, we're gonna be seeing a, a seventh man on the board for for Fuki and Exo. 
to be seeing a, a seventh man on the board. A Wait. Holding on well, I think Slave might have been a bit misposed. I'm not sure still, though. Do you have less than 30 seconds now on board? Exobliviona, they're still holding on to these positioning on that high ground British hurricane now. Don't have that. So you got to pick on the tracer. Like a scary moment if I were British hurricane. Yeah, definitely a scary moment. On top of everything, we're going to be seeing a, a seventh man and on the board for for Fuki and Exa we're going to be seeing a, a seventh man on the board for for Fuki and Exo to invest in Bob can be thrown down just as an act wait I'm like I'm like I think the Zen was just like so 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 damn split from like no well, not the Zen like this like the ex oblivione are like man so damn split and not like the right splits even like this smex is just like chasing shit in the back line when like uh, to invest like what when like you know like smex should be hard peeling because like they're in for the dive like uh, like it's okay for diva to intercept the dive like try to but like this is already this could already be kind of dangerous so like smex smex come back come back come back don't 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 chase don't keep chasing come back oh finally but it's too little too late to invest in Bob can be thrown down just as an added level of pressure. Uh, okay, well, what was Smex chasing? What, what was that Diva chasing? Hurricane now don't have that EMP holding on to. Do you have less than 30 seconds now on board? Ex Oblivione, they're still. Uh, I wish I had the whole replay. This is this camera work is kind of clusterfuck. Now don't have that EMP, and it's looking like a scary what the moment. Fuck? Oh my god. Yeah, definitely a scary moment. Sombra, there is a. Um... There's a Lucio. Lucio doesn't really matter. He's just a stagger bot. Yeah, definitely a scary moment. On top of everything, we're gonna be seeing a, a seventh man on the board for for. Fugu but this should be like easy for Ex Oblivione. Like they have like only. Bob can be thrown down just as an added level of pressure. Oh, the core lessons now, but Vestola gets booted out. Of you do D Mech like with British Hurricanes Diva. Smex is just too late to like peel. Oh well, like, uh, uh, but again, like, this is hard to win for British Hurricane anyways. It was kind of scary though, so. So now they're running, um, the more standard May Cree with the BAP, uh, like, Luce, Lucio. This is better, yeah, this is better than, like, you know, having Moira fucking Lucio and, like, you know. Sombra sim, but um So how are they gonna play this? Um, so British Hurricane like they can either just try to like spawn camp Spawn camping is like and that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna spawn camp and and the reason this can be strong is because firstly it's there's only like There's two angles and that are like pretty not separate apart and like there's one pretty irrelevant more relevant angle So like all the angles are like forwards There's no high ground for like the attacking team to use to try to break it and secondly, if they lose here, like at least they'll get they'll probably they can get up to like three team fights before they get first checkpoint, so So now like they're gonna So ex Oblivion are just gonna try to like set up angles. They're just gonna try like set up angles on like the, the British Hurricane and try to just And what British Hurricane should do is just they just have to like like clear the angles before like they they happen like contest the angles before they're set up or like if they already set their angles you have to like kite back kite back to a better position because you're on defense like you can still hold this corner so now they set the high ground good boop by admiral to like to like clear that angle good boop And oh. they boop, and as you can see, like instead of like, and like instead of like letting the sigma poke, they they clear this angle. They may wall here just to like separate it, and then they clear this angle. That's good. And they already cleared one minute of the clock. Good for a spawn camp, yeah. 
And Ex Oblivione's like best bet is either like build ultimates, like build try to like build like maybe flux, for example, before like the beat is built, or like or like it's well like set you know the standard setup angles and try to like they want to get out of here they need to find a way to just kind of keep their distance just a little bit until they crack the armor of british hurricane and then can follow up with a discorded target and find they do have like spawn so like ex oblivion they just need to get a pick and then like they can try to like snowball from that they have respawn advantage as you can see, like they use a sim TP to set up like an angle. They set up two and they set up angles. That's really creative use. Like they set up. As you can see, this is how you should try to break like a brawl comp, like setting up angles. What British Hurricane have to do is either like maybe like rush this way, rush this way, or like um, or at least like you know try to like. Uh, they have to eventually clear one of these angles. Uh, I don't uh, like I don't know like I uh, I think this is what they should they should have done they should have like just like circled around here and tried to like clear these people but like I guess they're worried about the sim TP they have the sim TP like in that but like at least they'll be fighting from one side but like as you can see like I don't know what this plan I think the plan was to like maybe rush this way while the diva takes care of this angle but like this is just putting them at like a like a there's a it's like a ticking time bomb, like if this diva runs out of matrix and loses like the armor then boom these ang this angle is like suddenly like like menacing. So I'm interested to see how they play this. What the hell? What the what the fuck is this? This, this, this team fights a clusterfuck. So they teleport back. Yeah, that's. By doing that, they do like quote unquote clear one angle, but and as you can see, like this spawn camp is, and then like they do eventually force everyone into like one angle. So yeah, this is this is a bit risky, but it's it's good. Yeah. They but they did lost their bap like huge huge. How how did how did Scripa die? Like, there, there's a thing, like, even if, if, like, Brawl is technically, like, you know, better, like, than, than, like, a double shield, like, double shield, like, it's brutal to position against. Like, the double shield likes to take angles, like, you just have to, like, use natural cover perfectly, otherwise, like, a perfectly played double shield would just, like, you know, if you even, like, stray, like, a bit from cover, then, like, okay, where's my, would you run Ryan Zara, sorry for not checking chat. Uh, would you run Reinzar on defense for Route 66? Well, typically I do prefer, like, Ball ball Sigma. Like, first and second. Reinzar is okay on third, yeah. On first, like, Reinzar is, like, not Reinzar. I play Rein Diva actually. Like, I don't really like Reinzar on, like... Uh, I, don't, I don't really like Reinzar, except on maps with, like, narrow sight lines. Um... But, um... But yeah, like on Route 66 defense, it is viable though. Like Rhine, Rhine comps are viable on every single map, like in, in this meta. I, I say viable. I don't say it's like the best, but it's viable. And it's because like there's no more of like that, you know, sustain creep. Or like, uh, well, like all the sustain creep is in like, you know, fucking Brawl now. And like there's like no, and then they nerf Zen and a bunch of heroes. So like. So like Ryan comps are like Brawl are is viable in like every single map in this current meta. It's just that like um you do have to be really careful uh, if you're running Brawl outside of like you know the traditional maps if the enemy's not mirroring Brawl because like if you have long sight lines you either have to like hold close like you have to like you know that's why like they spawn hold here it's it's because like like they spawn hold here it's because it's and they want short sight lines they don't want like ex oblivion to set up like the, the long sight lines and i and i'm guessing like after, once they ex oblivion ex oblivion like oh sorry cross this corner they're gonna have a huge advantage like they just have long sight lines to use like british hurricane they don't want to be pushing into like this concave they have to be quickly clearing the angles or else like double shield is just gonna get so much value like Ryan, Ryan Diva, like, or, like, I don't like Ryan Zar just because, like, if, if you don't have, like, a Diva, then, like, how are you going to control flanks and angles? Like, double shield is just going to be, like, it's just going to destroy you. Like, here's the thing. Like, when you're playing, like, Zarya, like, um, 
you generally want long fights. Like it, it sounds, it, it sounds counterintuitive because like you know, <laughs> bubble Ryan go burr, right? But like, the thing is that Zara requires like at least like two cycles of bubbles to have like to do get stuff done. Like the first set of bubbles that Zarya is gonna use is just gonna be for energy, right? And even the second set of bubbles might not get stuff done because like the enemies has to use enough cooldowns. To like you know justify well like not justify I mean like for you to get kills with like your second set of bubbles so like so like that's why like so like Ryan Zara like often needs like two or three cycles of bubbles so twenty to thirty seconds just to get like you know the Zar to have, to actually outvalue a diva but like so like Ryan Zara they want long fights but do you really want to be taking long fights against like double shield it's just like and like this is what I was like on attack this is what I was like pointing out like. British Hurricane, like, sometimes they just, like, made really weird rotations and took long, longer fights, and they got punished for it. Like, the longer that you, like, leave this team, like, outside of outside of Brawl range and long sight lines, then the more value this Ash is going to get, the more value that the Sigma is going to get, the more, like, they're going to, this Zen's going to get trans. Like, everything. So, like, and so, like, that's why Ryan Diva is preferred. Like, Ryan Diva is just better for long, not only shorter team fights, which Brawl typically wants. Like, Brawl, like, you don't... Brawl has a lot of sustain, but, like, ideally you want to close the distance. You want to be fighting in short sight lines anyways. And secondly, Diva is, like, just better at, like, clearing angles and, like, holding angles and, like, clearing angles for, like, maybe your Kree to use, clearing angles for your Doomfist to use if you're running Doomfist Brawl. Like, Diva is just, like, so much better in every way. And, like, D.Va provides insurance against his long-range poke. Like, D.Va can, like, DM. DM, right? Like, uh, defensive matrix is just too valuable to give up against. Like, Zarya bubbles, like, they can't allow your Ryan to get, like, a bit, two more swings every ten seconds. But it's not worth, like, giving up so much utility just for, like, you know. And, I mean, like, Grav is, like, good. Grav is really good ult, but, um... But Grav against D.Va is kind of scuff. Like, you're worried about getting eaten. And, like... But, like, the more important part is, how about mail? Mail against Zarya is free. Mail against D.Va, like, you need to prepare it, so. So D.Va in Brawl, just so much better. Except on, like, maps where there are no flanks and angles to control, and where, like, the team fights last, like, 5 to 10 seconds. Well, even then, like, if the team fights last 5 to 10 seconds, then uh, I kind of contradicted myself. Like, like I mean, like, uh, what I mean by that is that if the team fights... Um, if the team fights are like so so short that like that like you don't have time to set up those flanks and angles, in which case you you typically don't run Ryan Zarya, Ryan Zarya. You run like Ryan Orissa or even Ryan Winston. Those are better if the team fights are like really 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 short and like in one direction. Like there's no time to set up flanks and angles. Like Ryan Winston is like pretty is like kind of like best in slot for like the Legion Night Market, for example. So, back to the analysis. So, uh, how does Scrippa die? Where was Scrippa positioned? Like, even if, like, you get kills against double shield, like, you, you have to be, still have to be really careful. Ash can just, like, and the great thing about, like, Ash is just, and why Ash still played a lot in, like, especially Korean contenders is that, like, you don't need, like, you know, any, like, much support. Like, Ash, like, boom, one shot kill, like, by herself along sight lines. She doesn't need, like, you know, tank to close the distance, like, unlike some heroes like Reaper, which would require, like, a Ryan or, like, a Winston just to, like, create the space. Like, Ash doesn't need as much space. Ash can just, like, hold long sight lines, like, boom, boom, get a kill. And that's why hit scans in general are, like, unreasonably powerful, like, for a lot of Overwatch's history. Goats was just, like, a. We had, like, so much sustain that, like, there's no point anymore, but. But like when when in two to two roll off, yeah, uh, hit scans have just dominated. Even like now, Kree is preferred over Reaper because long range poke is valuable. So um, let's look at this. I'm not sure how Scrippa died, but I'm just gonna assume it's like some dumb mistake. You should you shouldn't die after getting like this many picks. But what does this mean for British Hurricane? It means that they have to back up. They they get they get kills, but they have to back up. Uh, so they should all just reset, like reset, and they do. So um, at least like British Hurricane do get some kills. So 
So, like, they their priority should be, like, quickly getting back. Oh, fucking, I have, I have to check something. And quickly getting back, reason being is that, like, um, if they don't get back in time, then, um, what happens is just that, um, uh, Ex Oblivione just sets up their angles, like, early. So, um, and, like, uh, sets up their angles before the fight, and, like, even worse, like, Ex Oblivione have a pretty good alt bank, like, they're missing Boss Bomb, but that's kind of useless alt anyways. Without, like, something, like, grab to combo with, so. Um... What British Hurricane, yeah, they should do is that they should just try to get back and, like, just try to, like, take the high ground. Like, get back and then maybe take the high ground. Like, you can't go, like, right here. I think it's a bit longer, though. But most importantly is that they have to get back quickly. No wasting time here. Meanwhile, ex they did get some picks on ex as they reset, so they're going to have less time to set up, so this is good for British Hurricane. Okay, where's their sake? Where's their sake? Where's their sake? Where's their sake? So, like, British Hurricane take the high ground, but. Hmm. So, they wanted the high ground to set up the high noon. Here for EMP, Ex Oblivion in a much better position to fight in at the moment. P, Ex Oblivion in a much better position. But I think instead of like, instead of like you know, so it's gonna partially cool. Like they don't advantage the disadvantage of this comp is that like unlike this they don't have any good scouting tools really, maybe except Diva. So what I think is that like I think Diva should have just. So they're gonna have time to set up, right? So I think D.Va should have like tried to like you know maybe fly up here, scout where they're positioned, and then like stay and like I, they taking this high ground is okay, except that like they're gonna if they take this high ground they're gonna be in a poke war and like they're gonna win this poke war, right? They have um all these, they have like the Arisa Sigma two poke really pokey like deep uh, supports and like Ash. So like um they're ex one like even if British Hurricane take that high ground they're gonna they're gonna still win the poke war if they're positioned on like the other high ground. So I think what they should do is that they should have Diva scout like um ex oblivione and and um and then like see where they're set up and then like instead of going for like you know a high ground poke battle against like double shield they should just try like you know go like rush. In this case Sigma is, is here so like they should just try to rush and like use like freeze i mean they don't have to be careful about being eaten but i think it they could like maybe try to high noon to get it get it out and, and before freezing but right here like british hurricane are just even though they are clearing the high ground that's good they are pushing into this really nice concave um, while like they have alts so so like ex oblivione are just gonna win the poke war like from here on like you only have one choice rotate there like they also farm like they also farm like you know beat early so like if they knew that they have these ultimates then after like the diva scouts out then they should rush downwards and then they just speed in speed in like speed in with with beat here for just beat it with beat and trying to get a good like male i think that's their best bet but instead they just kind of run into like uh, the beat is too late they just kind of run into like um british hurt like ex oblivione's like concave and just die i mean the, the silver lining is the, just that british hurricane only use one ult but but like that wasn't a particularly expensive like fight for Ex Oblivione. It's they only use two ults, yeah. Well, they did use Bob as well, I think. Yeah, they use three ults. So in terms of like pure like thing, pure like ult usage, like British Hurricane did. British Hurricane did like uh, get like did get like mm, Ex Oblivione invest a lot of ults, but but like so now like. Now it's gonna be a lot, uh, a bit more scuff for the brawl, like long sight lines to set up on. Except, like I think it's a bit better on like, it's a bit better on like the 
on like the defense because like on a, on defense like Ex Oblivione had like a lot of time to like set up their angles, but like British hurt. Uh, but like now like uh, it's given now it's they're on attack. Like they have to be like uh, they have to like set their angles beforehand, and British Hurricane could just try like take those angles early on defense. That's the advantage of being on defense. So um right here um so. Uh, I think this is a bit sloppy from Ex Oblivione, because like um, before like, or were they fully set up on the angles? Like, firstly they should try to like at least set up their tracer somewhere, but I think the Sig, like the Sig Zen just got too greedy, got too greedy on that high ground and they just got rushed. And. And it's okay to like set up these angles, except that if you want to set up these angles, you you have to have at least like your you have to have like um you should have like all your angles fully set up before like you know, trying to like do this, like trying to like go for these aggressive like positions. Like Arissa should be set up somewhere. Sigma should be set up. I I think like honestly maybe Arissa even rotates like right here while maybe Sigma Sigma try well. Sigma maybe couldn't hear, but like they do want to like use that bongo. I think early. I think they want to use the bongo early, just so like, or they could be trying to take a dry fight because like British Hurricane have an all advantage. Well, it isn't dry because they use. I think they're they might be saving the bongo for next fight. Okay, how 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 did they actually how how did this fight get so messy? Like British Hurricane have like a huge ult advantage. They have five ults. They shouldn't be losing this. Like all all, all British Hurricane really had to do this fight is like they they can chase down this this like you know this these people all they want but like you know what's a bigger priority? It's called not dying. Because like uh, even though like they didn't fully set their angles, like I think this is a bit too ambitious from from Smex, um, like they should have like the rest of some angles, so at least they get a crossfire, right? But like this is a bit too ambitious by Smex. But like most importantly, they there's still a tracer to worry about, and like there's a tracer plus a Zen, so like the tracer gets a bit of help actually, and like whatever they do, like their most important priority should be living, which means that like. Which means that, like, they just need to, like, they don't need to, like, kill them. They don't need to, like, kill, them, like, you know, these people. They just need to like, clear them off the high ground. And then they can use that high ground to pop, like, the things that actually matter. Like, this is just a kind of a lack of long-term planning by... Or at least, like, really sloppy execution. Because, like, look at this. Sparker, like, has the high noon, which could be really good against this once they're on the high ground. But since the long sight lines actually will be good for them. But, um... So they get... Instead of like, instead of like you know trying to like, instead of trying to DM that DM like this like you know rush like DM the flank, like oh, Vestola just like int in and, and get try to get slay like, if if they all track pro properly they have trans and it might have forced out the trans but like, it doesn't matter like if you if you die here like Exa Blue they don't mind if they die, that much, like they're just gonna build an alt bank eventually out of all the poke they get but um. British Hurricane, like, they have ults. They just need to survive. And, and here's a lesson, chat. Like, oh, flex support main. The scrim on this map today was a pain. <laughs> yeah, Route 66, like, really long sight lane. Kind of painful. I played a lot of sustain last night for scrim. Oh, so, like, do you do you all play double shield or, like, map, map like, Maykree, like, Ryan Brawl? So, um, so chat, like, um, if you ever watch this, like, if you ever have, like, a bank of ultimates, like, you, you don't need to be going for aggressive shit like this. You just need to, like, survive early to mid fight and then pop your ults. Use your ults to win. Like, you're, you're not trying to win on based on inting and praying. You win if you, like, live early to mid fight. Like, if you have ultimates, then, if you don't have ultimates, then you might go for, like, aggressive cheese play like this, but, 
Like, if you have ultimates, like, just, 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 like, live. Like, it's not hard. Not dying. Like, what, what they're doing here is sloppy. Bad, bad macro. Bad macro play. Like, like what, what? What, what the hell? And, and Slay survives. Like, it's not even like this rush got anything. Like, they're like, oh, Slay, they pop trans. Uh-oh, we, we, we now focus on anything. And then, like, like, Vestela. Like, oh, oh, like, let's, where's, where the hell must Zen be? Like, six seconds ago, I wonder. Should I be going for, for him? Oh, oh, no, oh, no. Like, I'm just gonna, like, shoot this Sigma from, like, how many meters away? Look, what, what, what is this? This is, and then I use Bomb for, like, and it, and it did get one, it did, it did get Slay, but like this was the, but this was a positional error by Slay. Well, well I thought, I thought he was like, oh he rotated back. I thought he was still in the flank, my bad. But like Slay does rotate back. But like, the Slay that they like tried to rush, like, try to like, you know, bum rush like, like just a while ago like now came back to bite them because they didn't play to live they played to like you know get like their their neutral win condition when like they should be winning with alts and, and, and look and look like they even invest alts into this like they, they do pop their alts they, they die with high noon and then they switch because like they lost this fight when they have like one cap left like honestly like you know you know you know how, when like when you start playing a game a lot of people tell you not to die well like this is why this is why don't like don't die especially if it <laughs> I may be like kind of like nitpicking here but this is this is like contenders team so so now British Hurricane go back on Tracer because like they uh, they they needed to like stop the cart like event like pretty soon, so and how they're gonna do this is like they're gonna, I think they're gonna turtle in here and then they're gonna, turtling is a really common strategy when trying to hold like payload maps, and on, on brawl like, so they're just gonna turtle. And how they're gonna do it is just that like, but. Okay, how how does Smex die? Oh, I mean, like he just got one. He just got a bit too overambitious. Yeah, he just stood too close to like the the death ball. Mm, sloppy, sloppy. Yeah, that's a, that's a bit sloppy. But um, there are five v five and. Uh, oh, this is this is uh, this is why like I don't I, I might not have liked this turtling play because well they have window and, and if you're turtling here what are you gonna use window for jack shit like 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 by doing this like by doing this turtling play it's okay like in brawl in general but like if you have window to invest like and and it's like possibly the thing like you might well like to be fair like they did s switch off like you know. So they just switched to Tracer, so I'm not sure how much that window is gonna get. So I, I honestly, I think like Turling is their best option. But like by switching off of like um, oh my God, by switching off of like the Cree, like this window just like they 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 lost their high noon and they lost their like thing. So like I think this is just like a bad switch in general. Like they they should have just like you know, hey, like the cart's gonna push here, or we might lose, but like. It's uh, there's still like some distance like they're gonna have to stack three on card if they want to like push it that fast and if they do stack three on card it's good for us but like if they don't stack three on card we have time we just have to, like diva contest the card and like we just set up our like Cree on high ground with the window and try to high noon like they just they don't have to like panic this fast and by panicking like all they're doing is really like they're the this window is now useless they have nothing to exploit except rind and even then they sig sig suck can just like suck the fire strike. So they're probably gonna use the window for like more sustain, but even then, like in like sustain my ass when like you know <laughs> when they could just destroy like the immor. <laughs> they, they even I think they might have used immor last fight, and and there was no immor to destroy. They couldn't even pop it. Uh, what a tragedy! 
Like, in, in that turtle room, like, you can't really pop, like, pop, like, window to sustain. Like, imagine threading healing shots through, like, that small-ass room. Through the window in that small-ass room, like... Like, the switches that they made were just unfortunate. Unfortunate. And, but, British Herc... I mean, Ex Oblivione did do a good job setting up the angles. Thank you. Even though, like, um, Smex does get, like, a little, little over-ambitious. Like, and, uh, so, like, they're 5v5, and they do have a stalled card, but, like, but, like, the unfortunate thing for, like, British Hurricane is that, like, they can't clear the angles, they can't clear the ash up here, because they have the stalled card. So, I'd imagine maybe, like, they just have Ryan stall card, Ryan can survive the D.Va, but, like, honestly, like, losing your bat there, it's... Nah, unwinnable, just unwinnable, especially as they pop bongo. GG's, GG's, I'm just gonna say that. Oh my god. Even though they got a pick on, like, the, the, the Sigma, it doesn't matter. GG's. So, um, let's review, um... Let's check my Discord. I have to... Okay, give me... And just give me a while. Just give me a while, yeah. Oh, uno momento, so just doing something. Hmm, let me read the chat. Sustain is a... Well... Well, good enough burst damage can, like, you know, beat out sustain just because, like, burst damage and is healing. But, um, anyways, I'm just, like, D doing some DM, so I'm gonna be back in, uh, probably 30 seconds to a minute, yeah. Um, anyways, uh, so, um, anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this on pause. Like, in the, on, like, the contenders view on continue after this, but, um, let's, uh, let me see. I did promise to do review for someone so like anyways when you meant like sustain like did you mean like um uh, like uh like what what comp was it like the name all like the heroes in it Yep. Oh, or at least like like in general, and that's it's all all good. It's all good. So um, when you say like what, what was like the was it like a brawl comp or like you know like a more more like a bunker comp like double shield. Oh oh yeah so um, where do you was the enemy team like mirroring or. Mm. Or like, uh, were they playing something different? Because like, usually like low, low elo, like brawl is just the easiest comp to to like conceptualize. Like uh, in, in any more complex comps, you really have to like play sp like split, split more. Like even on brawl, like oh, like even on brawl, like you do have to play like. No, like you do have to. Uh make some splits right because like you don't want your Cree on angles and stuff um, let me change the title of my screen stream for a bit Farah, Echo, Zarya, Ryan, Lucio, Zen Zen in, in which case like um yeah like Farah, Echo yeah it's gonna be it's really annoying 
Oh. Oh, hello. Hello. So, anyways, um. Oh. Yeah, sorry, I didn't know if you wanted me in the VC for this. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm not on push to mute, but my push to mute button is the same as like the Discord VC, so I'm gonna have to do push to talk. No, you're fine. I just didn't want to be late to this, that's why I was asking a little bit early. It's okay. So uh, let me change the title of the stream for now. So I was doing like a, a contenders, EU contenders review, it was really interesting. <laughs> oh yay, hi Nick. Yeah, it is popping. I'm doing like a... I'm doing uh, Winston v like a, for like Radiant Dawn. <laughs> You're gonna review my horrible what's the uh, don't worry, don't worry, Al. I don't care. I did. I felt like such a dumbass. I knew I was playing it wrong, but I was like I don't even know what I was thinking, but I knew that was wrong. I I I don't know what the hell I was thinking, bro. <laughs> I felt like such an idiot. I was like, oh my I literally knew that wasn't right, so I was like, I'm not getting any value. That's just not how you play what's the but I was like, I don't know, man. So I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so before review, I want to show you like two videos. Um, so uh, let me stream it while like I don't think the stream's like live, so I'm gonna have to stream double stream. I hope the bitrate doesn't suffer. Like I may just do 15 frames per second. If that's okay. Like you, like it's, it's that's how fast my computer is. Darken my screen so I don't show like any personal document <laughs> oh you, you can't see my screen you don't really care actually it's not it's, it's, there are like some really embarrassing files but like luckily i password protected them easy so um is a bit rate right is like is it laggy or anything on the that's good discord stream so what uh, today i want to show you i want, just want to show you like so before you like um so firstly, I need to, I want to tell you this. Forget everything you've learned about Winston. I'm just gonna say that like any any like tutorial, YouTube, like any like Reddit post that's about Winston, other than like a really good one I want to show you, like they're all wrong. Like people don't know how to play Winston in in NA or like EU. Like all the good Winstons are in Korea. <laughs> like uh, it might sound like a joke, but I'm I'm actually being honest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And, like, the misconception really comes from the fact that Winston is, like, treated as, like, a hard dive hero. And that, like, what do you, if you could describe Winston's role right now, what do you think it would be? Uh, like, who he would dive on? Or just, like, what he would do? Okay, forget about the word diving. Forget about diving. Uh, you don't really play like... Winston to, like, quote-unquote, dive anymore. Unless, like, it's like you're playing something like Tracer Genji, in which case you do dive. Like, you know how in Ball, like, you're, you're like... Ball is more of a dive tank than Winston is. I'm just gonna say that. Like, with Ball, like, what you can do is, like, you're gonna be saying, I wanna... Ooh. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Cloudy, for following. It's... So, um, so, like, uh, forget about the dive part, because, like, ball, like, you know with ball, like, you have specific targets you want to dive, you want to dive Zen, you want to dive Ana, you want to dive Brig, <laughs> well, not Brig, but, like, generally not Brig, like, with ball, you have specific targets, right? Ball is, like, the dive tank, yeah? Yeah. But Winston isn't. Winston is, like, um, Winston is all about, like, Winston is more like a brawl tank, actually. And this is this is hard to explain, like just by words. I'm just gonna show some examples. But generally, what I mean by that is by Winston being a brawl tank. It's just that, like, um, okay. So let me let me just get a blank document about colon blank life hack. So so like Winston, like let's let's go over like his stats. So Winston has like cleave damage, right? So sixty DPS in like a 10 20 degree angle i'm not sure the exact number but it's like cleave damage mm -hmm. so it does damage in an area so like if winston is all about diving single targets why do they give him cleave damage so you can hit multiple targets and hitting multiple targets is like the the, the pin like you know what winston is about like consider this like 60 dps t 
times six targets equals 360 DPS. Like, this is how much Winston can do. How much damage Winston can do. 360 damage per second. Like, um, if you... Okay, let me close some tabs. Like, if, if I were you, I, I, this that's a pretty large number, right? Mm -hmm. So, um... So, Winston is not about going on targets. No, it's not about jumping on targets. It's more about, like, um... Winston is all about, like, uh, drawing attention away from your team while doing huge amounts of cleave damage. And what I mean by that is, let me, let me, let me, like, open Snap Banana. Okay, actually, let me not open Snap Banana. So, so let's say this is, like, a, let's say you're on Hanamura first choke point, right? This, mm. And, like, you know how Ryan would usually, like, hold like this? Like, they just yeah. hold the corner? Well, mm. with Winston, like, how you would hold this is that you wouldn't hold the corner really like this. What you really want to do is, like, you know, when the six people go in, like, they want to be getting their back line into, like, longer sight lines. They don't want to be putting their back line in here. So, like, how Winston actually does is, like, a, Winston, you let the people go in first, right? Yep. And then, like, once they're, like, kind of in the choke, like, you just, like, emerge from the flank. You just, like, stay in this flank. You set up here and then, like, you just cleave them all. In that, like, side room? Yeah. Or, like, right here, but this is less cover. I prefer, like, here. Well, here you can just jump back, so uh, sometimes you want to hold here. But, um, but, like, you just want to, like, you just want to, like, draw attention away from your team. So, like, when you shock the people here, they're forced to look at you, right? Mm. And, like, when they look at you, then, like, what you can your team do shoot them shoot them for what there. for free right yeah so let's say let's say the let's say like you know let's say this was a ryan right and the ryan looks at you tries to like shield up for you for some reason maybe they're trying to clear you out so like ryan can't shield your team right who is in another angle yeah so uh so like winston is all about like he was causing a huge distraction while doing as much cleave damage as possible and and the reason he has cleave damage is, is really so that, like, he can do, like, so much damage to the enemy. And, um... So how you would play Winston is basically, like, you just want to, like, create multiple angles. Like, create another angle for your team. So, like, you know how, like, Tracer... Tr Tracer would, like, just try to shoot from another angle to, like, draw attention away from her? Yeah. So, like, you're basically doing the same as Winston, so, like... On Hollywood, here's another example. That was the example for, like, the VOD. So, on Hollywood, like, there, there's, like, a huge box, right? Like, you mm -hmm. know, there's a choke here, and then there's, like, a box beneath it. Like, a high ground box. So, as Winston, like, what you'd be doing is, like, since, it's, since say the enemy's holding a choke, which is what they don't want to do, actually. Because what you can do is, actually, you can just jump up to the box, wait three to four seconds for your, like, jump to cool down. For your jump cooldown to come... drop on them, right? Yeah, you just drop on their... Drop okay. on them. Just, just, like cause like a distraction mm. do like a lot of cleave damage so um but like so like as winston like forget about diving just forget about diving you don't you I don't guess. think about it as dive think about it as causing a distraction think about it as like um ryan protects your team by like you know putting a shield in front of them and like swinging kind of like mm. you know drawing aggression right winston protects their team by like you know, forcing people to look away at them, right? So, like, this is the enemy team, this is you. You're as Winston, and this is your team, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, Winston, like, Winston's job is really to draw attention away from his team. So, um, the double bubble in particular, so, like, do you... So, like, double bubble is kind of special in that Winston, as Winston, you really have to play, like, less for like you know backline and more for like you know farming resources for like your um everyone else so like you'd be like hey like i want to farm like energy for my zarya i want to farm like um you know nano i want to farm my own primal and like the play style of double bubble is really you don't really like hard engage you know what uh, you know and do you know what the difference between hard and soft engage is like I assume hard is just dropping on them and soft is like coming in from the side like you said earlier. Or... It's more of that like hard you're committing, you're jumping on them and you're kind of like, if this doesn't work I die. 
So soft engage would be like if you're dropping on them. Yeah, dropping on them, maintain your escape, and that's why Winston is so actually kind of like the safer pick than Ryan because like with Ryan, like when you engage, you're in. Yeah. And and kiting back is not a guarantee. That's why Lucio is another reason why Lucio is played with Ryan. If you don't play Lucio with Ryan, what happens is that like the enemy can play something like Doomfist. And if they go in, and then the enemy Ryan goes in, then like there's you can't kite back. You're 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 stuck. But like if you're playing Winston, then like you can just jump out. You don't need a Lucio or anything like that. You can just jump out. So like Winston jump is less valued for like engaging and more valued for like escaping. That's why Winston does a jump. So let me put it to you this way. So why does Reaper have Wraith to get in or to get out? To get out. Um, well, yeah, correct. Like, why does, like, Sombra of Translocate locate to get in or to get out? To get out. Um, or here's another example. Like, why does Ball have... Well, like, Ball is a bad, a bad example. Ball is kind of, like, a more special hero in that, like... <laughs> he's so mobile, he can just int in. Like, here's another example, like, in terms of mobility cooldown. So, so like, um... With like Lucio speed, like, do you only want to speed in, or do you want to also consider speeding out? Both of these can be equally valuable, right? Yeah. And so why is it why is it different with Winston? Why do all like the YouTube tutorial guides they always say like jump into the enemy backline and try to get a kill? That's not how you play Winston. Like people like they just like misunderstand what Winston's jump is for. Winston's jump is for getting out, not getting in, unless like you're hard engaging, right? Mm -hmm. Like, sometimes you'd be using Reaper Wraith to, like, you know, kind of go in more, right? Because, like, Reaper Wraith resets, like, you know, the, the, the ammo, right? It's like a free reload. But you only do that when you're actually in the fight and you're sure you're going to survive, so... Let me... And here's another way to see it. Like, Korea, like Winston's, like, Korean Winston's in particular, like, Fearless. You know who Fearless is? Yeah. So, like, Korean Winston's, like, Fearless, they play to live. Play to live. And the longer they live, the more damage they do. That's their mentality. So that's why, like, so they play to farm resources, which um, guarantee their survival. Like they they farm like Zarya energy, so things actually die. They farm like Nano, so they can go in safely and hard engage in the back line. And th and they farm Primal because Primal is kind of like a second life. That's why you mainly use Primal for. Primal is a second life. You don't use Primal because you want to go in. You use Primal because you want to go in, and then afterwards you want to stay in, right? So this is a perfect example. So right here, um, as you can see, like he's firstly like setting up, setting up on this angle, and and like why does he set up on this angle? So you can get him from the side if they're running main. Yeah. So this is like their kill box. Like, and what I mean by kill box is like where your team is like best set up to like engage on them. So right here, right, it's because mm -hmm. like your echo has angles, your your Zarya can right click and maybe even beam and you can just cleave from the side. But right here, like what Fearless is actually gonna do is like they're run they're gonna be running brawl, but like so Fearless, like remember in double bubble, like so like in order to like understand Winston more, you have to understand the win conditions of double bubble, so you know what a win condition is, right? <laughs> yeah. So win condition for double bubble is you is number one. Let me go to my blank page again. Number one uh, ultimate. Like for example, Nano Winston, Grav, um, Rally. To a lesser extent, Primal. If you're good with Primal, then like you can kind of like actually win fights with Primal because you can just juggle two or three and kill them. So ultimates. Secondly, it's high energy, uh, high energy Zarya. And high energy Zarya plus them using cooldowns, like so no Immor and stuff, right? And like as like uh, Winston's important to look at like what cooldowns they use. Like if they use like say for example they're running Ryan Zarya Bap and they use like Immor plus like two like bubbles, like and your your Zarya's energy, would that be a good time to go in? Even if you don't have alts, if they use cooldowns. If they use cooldowns, yeah, because then you can get out. Yeah, you can just engage on them, and you have high energy Zarya. They have no Immor bubbles to, like, peel. And the third win condition is, like, either a positional mistake... A positional error, like, uh, by the enemy. Yeah, that's, like, it's either, like, you engage... If their enemy's out of position, then you want to engage on them, right? Because, like, they fucked up. You want to engage on them. Yeah. 
Or like someone's really low HP, or you have a numbers advantage, like the standard win conditions. So right here, um, Fearless is actually using the high ground, and he's he's doing this. Why is he doing this? He's dropping on the back, so they turn around on him. Yeah, they turn around on him, and more importantly, he's farming what? Uh, all resources from. Look at how much uh, primal he has. Thirty-two percent. It's, it's more than a spawn fire strike can get, unless it's perfect, right? And right here, why does he set up? Saying so get them when they're coming in. Yeah, so like, he's just harassing them in multiple locations. And Ryan generally, like, you know how he hold chokes on Ryan, and if they break through, like, you're fucked, kind of. Because yeah. you know, we have the backup to the next corner. With Winston, you actually want to give them the choke. You want to get them past the choke, right? So you know mm -hmm. how on Numbani, like, there's like um, there's like you know a stairwell that goes to like a door right here, and this is like the high ground. Yeah. So on Numbani, you actually don't want to be like holding here. What you want to do is like, well, I actually want to hold like low ground, wait for them to come in, and then you jump on the back line, and just try to draw attention away and cleave, right? Mm. It will and cause a distraction. Right here, as you can see, like he he tries to like, but more importantly, he's farming resources for Zara, and he gets out. And now, like as you can see, he's farming Nano for his Anas. That's why he's taking damage, and he jumps out. And look at how much space he's giving, but it's going to be okay, and why do you think that's the case? Because they can recontest when they push in. Yeah, they can, he has jumped to get in once to get Nano. Once it's safe, right? Mm. And as long as his DPS are holding the angle, then, like, they can just, like, create multiple angles on, like, the the point and just kill them. They can just, like, pincer, right? Mm -hmm. So... So right here, like, I think his Ana almost has... He's just farming, farming. He's farming energy for his... For, uh, not energy, like, charge for, like, his Ana. He's just, like, stalling point using mobility, but he's farming, 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 farming. Trying to get primal. Yep. Nano, and then he gets nano, and now he tries to go on, like, really aggressive. So now mm -hmm. he jumps in, and then he primals. So how do you think... Fear, why do you think Fearless won this fight? Even though like the enemy got a point advantage. The enemy put pressure on the point. Why do you think Fearless won this? Because he had smart positioning and then he waited until his Ana got Nano. And then once he got the Nano, he farmed his Primal. And he played... Uh, in general, in summary, he played for like his... Like what? Life. And life, yeah. Firstly, yeah, life. He, he played to live. This is the most important part. And secondly... <laughs> He played for win conditions, right? Yeah. He played for like his win conditions. Let me check chat. So um, doing the same thing again. This 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 like media viewers kind of buggy fuck. So again, like he's doing the same thing. He's this is a bit early of a drop, but at least he's farming energy and he gets back up. And now he's gonna do the same thing. He's gonna yeah. drop on him. He's gonna drop and then he's gonna farm, he's gonna force cooldowns out, and then like... They don't want to, and then he doesn't want to like get them there, why? Because he could be easily killed in there. His team is, is like, uh, more importantly like... Uh, no sight lines. No sight lines, yeah. His core don't have LOS on him there, so... He just waits, he just plays the waiting game. Now he's gonna go to the corner up there, I assume. Yeah. He's just gonna get cleave, 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 and hold this angle. And look, by holding this angle, like, what does this window do? This window is actually less effective now. Why? Where is the window at? Uh, uh, well, because they're all spread out and they're all worried about him. Yeah, because they're, he's drawing attention away from them. And look, is he really going for a target in particular? Like, like, look at this. Is he, is this like, is he going for like some backline target or is he just... Nah, he's just trying to distract them, get cleaving. Yeah, he's just like drawing attention away. Like, that's why Winston has cleave damage. And, and he mm. gets a primal, so he just wins with it. That's the most consistent way to like, most consistent play style for Winston. You play for ults and then you win with it. And outside of ultimates, you just try to, like, draw attention and force out cooldowns. So that if you don't get your ultimates, you can win because, like, you force the enemy cooldowns out. 
like there's Winston is, is better at like softening enemies up than Ryan because Ryan like you get one engage you fuck up that engage you're probably dead but like unless you have a Lucio and, and even if you do have a Lucio it's it's there's still problems like you still have to time it right because if like a Doomfist punches you then you're dead but Winston you can escape and go in again you can go in again and then like you're not going for like one big engage you're like kind of softening them up and building ults right yeah so is this like does this like is this different than how you usually play Winston? Yeah, I cause well I I kind of learned how to do like dive like hardcore dive. Yeah, well, so I used to do on my other teams, and I've been like been on team a little bit. Yeah. Like just forget, just like like just forget mm. about like the dive part yeah. unless like, and generally if you're playing like hard dive like, let's you're either running something like a tracer sombra or like, you're playing like okay let me see if my thing is working. I'm so bad at Winston. If you want Winston coaching, then feel free. Just ask me on Dia and Discord. Um, oh, well. Just send me, like, a code and, and, like, fuck up as much as possible because, like, the more mistakes, the better, so I have more things to talk about. Okay. So, um, as you can see, like, so generally, like, hard dive comps, like, they're, it's either gonna be, like, you're gonna either have D.Va, Tracer, Genji, or you're gonna have, like, Tracer Sombra or Reaper Sombra. Otherwise, you don't play Hard Dive. You play, like, slow. And you just play to live. Because, like, generally, if you want to play Hard Dive, then Ball's better. Why? Because, like, you know, Ball can just, like, go into backline safely, right? Yeah. Ball has, has like, uh, you can get up to, like, 1,000 HP. Would you rather prefer, like, 1,000 HP and, like, you can just roll out any time? Or would you rather, like, teeter the line in between like jumping in and holy shit six seconds fuck fuck <laughs> fuck like yeah. you don't always well there uh, there's a reason blizzard made ball it's because uh, i think koreans have been like um well like you know korean winstons are much better but uh, i think like korean players were looking at how na play winston and they, they were their eyes were hurting <laughs> <laughs> so like right here like why does he go in now so he has some cover when they're all killing his uh, everyone in the blizzard but more importantly look at the ultimate uh yeah he's about to get it he can guarantee his survival like everything that i've talked about like so far has been at least somewhat to do with surviving and like i know it's a really ingrained the na mentality to be as aggressive as possible right like you know uh, you know how like many coaches they like to say engage first and stuff yeah i'm not a really huge believer in that i'm more of a believer in like living because like if you know don't die then like dying is bad right yeah and, like it's, it's better to like live and like put some pressure put consistent pressure on the enemy like this play for like ultimates and stuff than to like you know go in like for one huge engage which you can die and you're like you lose the fight it's better to have multiple chances of winning the fight than like one chance right yeah that's why surviving is like just so important so like right here as you can see he goes in because why do you think one he goes person. in there's one person by himself uh, more fights one earlier like what's the most important concept um, right here living yeah living through it he can survive because he gets nanoed and there's a graph so they can't really just like rush him anymore and he almost is primal so right here he's holding the same angle again and why do you think he holds this angle now look at the clock uh because he still wants to like melt them when they run in because now they all have to rush through there because Otherwise, they have they to rush it. in right yeah so like he holds this perfect kill box for his team So, um, as you can see, like, they just win because, like, some, because, like, they, they're holding a call box and have to push through, like, the, their his team's angles. And they have Primal to, like, carry if anything goes wrong, so. Mm -hmm. So right here, here's another, here's another, like, minor tip, though. Why does he jump here? Uh, so then he can jump farther if he needs to go anywhere. Why does he just like he, he can't go from here? But why does he go this way? Uh, I guess less poke than just avoid damage. Yeah. yeah, it avoids damage. 
so like he can just like you know if he wants if he goes vertical movement is important as Winston and, and if you're on Winston you should have high sense well is your sense like high already oh uh, hell yeah my sense is very high so high sensitivity is actually better as Winston because like vertical movement is important as Winston and generally like Winston you don't just want to like jump head on into someone you want to like jump like in an arc so that like it's harder to hit you right mm. even though your air time After... harder uh, I was just gonna ask. After this, does he dive back in that little corner area? Yeah, let's. When he tries to go in. See. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. It's okay. It's okay. As you can see, he's farming. He pops the mm -hmm. bubble a bit early, but I think he was just afraid. Like Korean Winston's, they generally are like more afraid of dying. They play for their life so, a lot, so that's why they use bubbles early a lot. That's a lot of disadvantages, but uh, like. Now he asks for bubble from Zarya, and he gets it, and he farms it for the Zarya, and farms and the nano. In the corners. Yep, playing the cover when he's out. Mm. He gets the bubble, and he engages. Soft engages. He drops like right here. He doesn't go land on the platform, and like he almost has the nano. Like they lose like Zarya, but like they still can play for win condition. And he gets a nano, and look, he just you can does just go in on them. Yep, so much damage. Oh, <laughs> one HP, yeah, one HP. I think he actually dies. Well, he takes the health pack, so. Oh damn! He actually cut down there. And then he primals. Another important thing is if you want to play a lot of Winston, then primal mechanics are also really important. Because like primal mechanics, they allow you to use primal as a win condition, which is something you can't do unless like. Something you can't usually do unless you have a good mechanics on primal link. Otherwise, you're just gonna be like you know shuffling enemies any everywhere. So um yeah, let me show you another example actually before we go into the vod. I know I've shown a lot of examples, but nah, I don't play tanks. Yeah, I get, it. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, I can play tank, but like um I get burnt out easily from tank, honestly. <laughs> So right here, this is an example from like another Winston. This guy was rank one EU, like um a, a week ago I think. Mace might still be rank one EU, but um he he has like seventy percent win rate on Winston currently like four point seven k. Damn. Like playing pretty much only Winston. He rarely plays Ryan. Uh, and the reason is because he knows how to play Winston like all the other NA EU plebs. <laughs> like, I'm I'm sorry, but even like um, Korean main tanks in general, they're just kind of better, honestly. Like even then, like NA has been like playing Rhine, not Rhine, like playing ball. Like EU tanks are pretty good, I in my opinion. NA tanks aren't because like um. EU ladder is so bad. <laughs> well, like, <laughs> like all the skill is EU has like nutters, but like, yeah, I played on EU ladder before in the lower elo. <laughs> EU ranked. No, like, like NA, like um. If, if, have you tried like NA rank before though? Cloudy. Yeah. So, uh, but, but yeah, like in, if you want like really good games, you play Korean servers. High ranked EU is also not that bad. But. Um, so, um, right here, let's take a look. So, he's not running double bubble anymore, but he's still running the Ana. So, what is he doing right now? Does he really want to be like fighting on point right now? No. Why? Because he's gonna get immediately melted because they're all there. And they're running what? Oh, uh, brawl. They're running brawl, there. which which excels in what? Destroying. Low, uh, that, 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 I don't know. I don't know how close this map is. Short sight lines. Ah, uh, right? close range, yeah. Close short sight lines, so. He doesn't want to be engaging into a death ball. So what does he do? 
We'll get him. Immediately take get a out. guess. Take a guess. He has an Ana. Does he like poke the front? Maybe. Uh, look at what he's looking at. Why is he staring he's at Lana? Because he wants to know where she's at. And he wants. She wants. He wants to do what for his Lana? Uh, get Nano. Farm Nano. Yeah, farm Nano. And and how he's gonna do this? He's gonna farm Nano and then he's gonna win off of it. Fuck. So um, holy, I think, I think what's be okay. Let me, let me solve this. I'm just deleting some things. No, you're good, man. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so... Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Okay, right here. So now he's 98 to Nano. What does he do now? He gets ready to engage because she's got a Nano. Yep. yep. Gets a Nano right now. It's hard to see, but yeah, it's popped. Yeah. And then, and like, he's still trying to live. Yeah, he's still, like, trying to live, yeah. And then, but, like, he jumps again. Why? Primal. Yep, and then, well, look, guess. Just boops him off. Go figure. <laughs> and then, like, yeah, he just. Now he wins the point, and what is he trying to play for now? On his ult. Look at alt. Which one is which one is important and close? Ah, uh, uh, sorry. Graph, yeah. right? So, is he gonna do any backline fuckery right now? Nope. He's just gonna try to farm for it, so she's gonna she's gonna try to get her energy. Yeah. And then oh, he grabs, crap. this grab isn't optimal though, just because like, like this Zarya should have let them come in a bit before grabbing. Oh well. And he, and loses. Now how does he, now does, how does he retake the point? I assume he does the same thing, he just keeps taking damage so the Ana can get Nana. Yeah, so let's take a look again. Okay, he has time, so he doesn't does does this, and then guess what happens? He gets she gets Nana, and then he decides to go in. Okay, they pop the window, but does this window really matter anymore? Nope, it's, uh, it's a pointless window. Uh, like uh, here's here's like the thing here's like the, the game design from the game design perspective. So, in exchange for having like um. In exchange for having like a weaker neutral, like I think the like the Blizzard to balance like heroes like Winston and Ana based on their alts. So like in exchange for having like, you know how Ryan does a lot of damage, like a early to mid fight. Yeah. But like, why did they nerf Shatter? Because it was too. I guess he's doing too much damage. It's because, like, the only thing that could block Shatter, like, consistently is another Rhine. And I think that's shitty game design. You know, like, it's been why Ryan has been justified for, like, the first three or four years. Like, why run Orisa when you can just get Shatter? But, like, people eventually learn not to, like, stack together and they play split, right? And if the enemy, if, and, if, and if you play split as, like, a team, then, like, does Shatter really matter anymore? Like, you're just gonna Shatter one and then you're gonna overextend and get brushed, right? Yep. So like these alts actually are weak, pretty weak. Like you know, high noon's a bit shit if you can just like jump and close the distance easily with a prior nano. Um, or or you can just dive like easily. Uh, 
Window's pretty shit when you can just go through the window. Like, easily you can just jump over the window as Winston. Like, you don't need to go through it like Ryan, right? You can just go over it. Even better. And, uh... And, like, Shatter, we already talked about it. Wall we're gonna do when, like, you Clinton, like, you know, Winston goes through the wall. Like, nothing, right? Yeah. I, I mean, we'll cut LOS, but... Nano Winston is pretty tough on his own. So, why not, Why does he play, like, more aggressively now? So he can get them when they come in again. It's the same Look thing at as the Trying to get resources. Um, is he gonna get in the next fight, though? Look at how low they are. Nah, but he's just trying to, like... Help him. So he has to be well. Health. He has right to away. be more aggressive to win now. Mm. Because, like, they don't have all, all many key ults, right? So uh, their win condition, and he sees that, like, you know, they have Hanzo Mercy, right? So does what does he want to do to help Hanzo Mercy? They're running Ryan Diva. Uh, he wants to kind of draw them to him, so they're not on the Hanzo Mercy. Yeah, they want to force, force the Ryan to look at him so they can't shield. And this is exactly what happens. Let's take a look. Like, look. Rip Bap. Why did- how did Bap die? Died immediately when Ryan put his shield down the swing at the Winston. Yeah, when Ryan had to look at them. And so, look, he's just drawing attention away, and by doing that easy pick, you pick a Bap over. Game's over. I mean, fight's over. Like, especially this early in the fight. Unless you have, like, a beat to work with, even then, like... Beat is only good mid to late fight as a rush engage. Um, and now look, look at what he does. He holds the high ground, and why? So he can drop on them if they come in, whatever way. He yep. drops on backline, farms the energy, and then like goes here. Gets that. Yep. And he can still get him from up there. Look at how scared of them, how scared they are to push. And by that time, like, look at how much attention he's drawing away. Look at their ults now. Their yeah. ults are pretty much... Yeah, like, they're coming up to, like, like guaranteed win territory. And look, like, look at this Hanzo. They have to look at him, who's here, but, like, they're ignoring this Hanzo. Look, look at how, like, valuable, like, angles are in one Winston. And just for fun, so, yeah, like, he wins this fight, and next, this is just a stagger fight. And let me show you one, actually, one of my favorite examples ever. <laughs> it's one of my favorite plays of all time. It actually is from the world 2016, right? I mean, like, world 2016 Overwatch World Cup. It's... So, you know who... So, like, do you... Have you ever heard of Miro? Like... Yep. Well, like, you know, he was the first great Winston, so to speak. Okay. I don't, I don't know why I couldn't find the finals. It was on, like, Li Zhang, but, like... Uh, you can't do this anymore, unfortunately. I think they, they tried to nerf Miro. <laughs> but no. <laughs> They tried to nerf him. Yeah, but... Look at this. <laughs> you used to be able to do this, but this is like amazing play. What a fucking incredible play. Look at this. <laughs> That's so busted. <laughs> you can't do this anymore, but like, you know, the same principle exists like even four years later. You want to be drawing attention away. And look, Miro's not going for like a specific target even. He's, he's getting all of them. He's just cleaving. So now let's look at your VOD. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> um, don't worry, let me just light the screen so I don't leak anything. Um... <laughs> oh, it's gonna look bad. <laughs> Dude, I, I wish I just wasn't an idiot, and I kind of, I knew it just was wrong, but I was like, I don't know. It's okay, it's okay. Don't worry. So, um... Um, I need to be using my other account. Just give me... Ooh, let's go. Okay, a lot of notifications. Okay, my I'm gonna admit my game's still fucking loading.
let's go. Okay, this is a thing in Korean versions of the game. <laughs> Okay, I have to like, I have to reduce the bit rate. It's just lagging so hard. It's not even worth it. Okay, I have to like stop streaming for a bit. I have to reduce the bit rate. It's the bit rate is so fucking low. Okay, so ignore my. Okay, so if you're wondering why the Korean name is a bot, this is a Smurf account. <laughs> Okay, I want to see like how how low the SR is. Wait, why did uh, and roll queue up to nine hundred and twenty-two SR? Where's five hundred SR? What the fuck? No, what account did I buy? Okay. Oh well. Who... I should have showed you Orc. It's like five hundred SR. <laughs> Forty dollars. <laughs> 40 bucks, jeez. <laughs> you know, it's mostly valuable for like being a Korean account, so. <laughs> Fuck, um, the... I need to like turn the thing in again. Uh, $40 gave me so much, so many memories, so. Let's look at Hollywood, X0C5. Uh, I mean, no. Oh fuck, I almost accidentally leaked the code, but they have to guess the last two letters. <laughs> Even that is a really valuable code anyways. It's, if anything, it's a good code to leak because, like, uh, how can you get value out of that code? It's well, just, just a stagger fest. Oh uh, no. <laughs> okay, do you see the stream? Yep. It's gonna hurt to watch. So, um... Objective A. So right here, um, we're running Double Bubble with like Ash Echo. I'm not a fan of Ash Echo Double Bubble. I reviewed it like two days ago on like Korean Contenders, but it really like just forces you to play like really pokey before going in. I mean, it's okay, but like I, I prefer Tracer because like the thing with, is, with Tracer is that like it prevents... Tracer is just like really good at like punishing people who are really split apart from your team, so. Um. Holy shit, I can count the fucking pixels. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, this fucking PC, it's a thousand dollars. Like, if you think that's a ripoff, then. Uh, that's. Mm, I might be. Okay, finally it's stabilized. Thank God. Oh I'm sure I restarted my PC before the stream. <laughs> what? Okay, it takes a bit of time to stabilize, unfortunately. Nah, that does. Uh, so what's the gonna be so bad? <laughs> I think I'm to stop the boost thing. Render distance on 70. Let's give it a try. Where the fuck is this setting? Okay. Is it slightly better? Sure. Mm. Okay, it looks like a potato, but that's the cost of like doing this. Uh, okay, so right here, um, what do you? So they're holding choke. This is a mistake. Or why do you think this is a mistake? Because I'm just gonna get instantly melted when I peek around the corner. Oh my god! Oh my god! How fucking laggy is this? Should I have jumped to like the right and then tried to? Maybe peek to that little room on the right. Okay, let me change my auto video setting. It's so bad, sorry. Oh my god. 
make sure. Okay, I think I have to just turn off damage effects. I should have jumped to the high ground here behind them, right? Yeah. Right. So, like, the core should be holding maybe, um, like, right here or, like, yeah, anywhere here is fine, but no. You just need to be jumping here, up here. Mm. And then, like, what you should be doing is that you wait three seconds for your, like, jump cooldown to reset and then you drop. Uh, and then, and then, like, for example, you, you ask, this is how it should go, so... You, you jump, you get healed, obviously you don't want to go in with like no one. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then like what the team can do actually while you're in here is that they could, they could try like go into the choke. They could bully this Ryan because like if you place a bubble here, you're cutting off the Ryan's healing, right? Mm -hmm. No more Ana. So, like, you jump here, you go here, and you allow your team to actually rotate to high ground. Take the high ground, and then, like, afterwards. Let's say your whole team's on high ground, right? Where do you want to be jumping? Or, or like, you can have two options, actually. You can either circle here and go here, or you can jump. Or you can like to a cafe and then like I don't like them from up there oh your yeah. barrier yeah like mm -hmm. the terminology is that's why it's called double bubble but right here uh, w w what's wrong with this <laughs> Like, shit. <laughs> what you, what's your target focus? I'm, are you? I, are you? Making... I don't. Know. I didn't even know that. I was just kind of like trying to get energy for Zarya. I don't know why I thought being frontline Winston was okay. <laughs> so you're making most use of your cleave damage. I'll also review your Rhine after if you have time. You have time. So like you get the nano, but like it's it was kind of poorly communicated. Like generally, like I think you should be asking for nano. That's how double bubble comms should work. Like you should be asking for nano, and what should you be doing with this nano now? Trying to make them all turn heads. Yeah, like you should. You could jump up here, get the nano jump drop down. And but like you know, ninety two percent. Like, you have 23% like nano, like primal. You just need to be jumping in with nano, drawing aggression so your team can rotate up to high ground. But right here, jumping back with nano, it's just waste half the nano. And they just push you back because you're, you're not establishing another angle. Like, another way you could have attacked actually is like, if, if you're holding here, you could actually just circle this way flank right mm -hmm. and then like you know draw attention like this way like for example be like i like here i shock like the i put my drop my bubble here and then like from here i can like either stay in the back line like this give like um, get drop the bubble here get so like these tanks have to back up or i go here i jump up here and then like i drop down afterwards I get healed up here and then I drop down with bubble and then I can repeat the process over and over again until like I get resources to survive and hard engage so you know so now do you know more of the difference between hard and soft engage yeah that's good but like right here like okay let's go there's three more minutes of like pure staggering I know so right here like now there's someone flanking here, so a good habit is actually check just check the corner and then like jump. But like they have shatter, so I think it's an unfortunate. It but to an extent, like if you didn't like walk into a death ball and then like right here, like if you see, if you see no Ryan here, it's likely the Ryan's doing some shenanigans. It's just like yeah, you can deduce that. Yeah. But like if you like were here and you jumped up here. 
then like the Rhine would be scared. Why? Because then he's not there to help them if I dive on his back. Yeah, or like if I just jump down, like pretty much. You can like well, if he shatters, you can just like drop your bubble in here and just try to separate the Rhine from the back line. Yeah. Get in there. Like with Winston Bubble, you want to be getting in positions where you can separate the front line from the back line. That's how you use Winston Bubble. It's kind of like a separation tool, or like the self survival to like block cooldowns and stuff. Okay, use that, use that, use that Chevy or whatever the fuck it's called for cover. Sorry, I'm Canadian, so I don't know all the car terms. We're not as fanatical about cars as I'm. Okay, let me check chat. Oh, this is when they called they wanted to go to the stairwell. Yeah. Like, but that bubble, like, it's cons like, what is this bubble accomplishing? Nothing. I mean, it's, oh, uh, well, I mean, it's cutting off fields from the Rhine, but... It's saying the enemy team, hey! Hey enemy team, I'm I'm not gonna be engaging for the next 13 seconds. Like you want to be using your bubble for something to like block either block cooldowns or you cut healing. You don't want to be using bubble or block like burst damage, but like you don't want to be using bubble just because you have it, or just because you land. Landing is not like synonymous with bubble. If you can avoid using bubble, and generally like what you do first is like you actually ask for Zarya to bubble you in first, and then when your bubble like goes in, when your bubble when your Zarya bubbles runs runs out, you, and then you drop your bubble. So you use Zarya bubble first, and then you use your own Winston bubble. You you don't want to like double bubble if you know like the in as a verb like you don't want to like use both bubbles at the same time. Hmm? You want to you want to maximize your uptime in the back, not the back line, but like on a different angle. It can. And and how you do that is by like staggering your bubbles. So right here, how do you want to be doing this? Again, there's a Rhine on the flank. But again, like even if you if there even if like this Rhine was on the flank, so firstly you should have checked it. You could you could have pub bubbled here to cut the healing force him mm -hmm. to charge back or something but like another option is you could, literally could have just like did this just jumped up here and then dropped here like same thing cut off mm -hmm. healing oh the same thing happens twice okay at least have grav now so like you should, what you should be doing is like asking for nano and going into the back line okay staggering Enemy Wait for a creep. Okay, so with grab, like the thing is with grab is that like when you're nano like this, you don't want to be popping primal immediately. Yeah, I kind of got nervous because you're running out of time, and I kind of wanted to ensure that we at least get a kill. So that's why I did it there. I know I probably shouldn't have. Yeah, but the, the yeah the, the the how the math works is that like um, primal gets fifty percent. Your each swing does like forty dam. Well, you do like ten more damage, and more importantly, you do like cleave damage. You do like ten more damage actually by like just shocking with nano than like primaling with nano into a grab like. That. Primal is really for like separating enemies and getting eliminations on them. It's not for like cleave damage. You already have cleave damage. We already have like cleave damage at home. And this just means that like you, you could have like just narrowed like normally, and then like right here you could have been popping the prime like primal, and then you could have like maximized your uptime. You have like ten seconds right now on primal instead of three or two. But yeah. Yeah, unfortunate. Ten seconds. So yeah, this is lost. So uh, let's look at like Rialto. Did you play Rialto? Uh, yeah. So uh... so let me darken the screen again, just as a replay code. I remember the code.
No shit. <laughs> so, um... Okay, I can undarken again. I know it's a short stream, but I lied, uh, so... Um, so anyways, uh, so right here... I'm escorting the payload. Let's so let's look at the comps moving. first. So like they're running like Hanzo, Hanzo, um, Tracer. Really weird champ. So what you literally can do with them is just like... I'm escorting the payload. So Let's what you need to do is, moving. firstly, clear the Hanzo out off of high ground and then run at them. You're, you have the better brawl, because like you have the Mei, right? Mm -hmm. Find a wall and run at them. And they have the Ana. Ana's kind of dog, dog shit. Like... Like, you know, like, if you're running Ana over Bap, then you either have to get, like, you have to, I either have to be, like, the best, like, fucking, fucking, like, you have to be either best fucking, like, nade expert in the world or you're just throwing so um so knowing this let's see how you do so so who's the bigger problem now the Ryan or the Hanzo Hanzo and what do you want to do block him so he can't hit shots behind everyone on the shield okay so, so here's the thing like, look at the Hanzo sight lines does your shield really matter Oh, no. Nah. So what do you want to be doing instead? Focus on the Ryan then. No, clear high ground. Like, literally, like, uh... Get May. Oh, May died, but let's say May didn't die. May should just wall up here. We clear high ground as a team. Like, we have, like... The thing is that, like, a lot of Ryan, Like, even Ryan has been played wrong in the side to Winston for a really long time. And like the thing is that like you can let's say that you have a nano, you can be pressing W all you want, but like well, firstly, what are you gonna do? Just gonna back out. They're just gonna yeah, kite back, and like by kiting. Meanwhile, what is this Hanzo gonna do? Just keep shooting at everyone bottom of shield. Yeah, so like you're taking space, but like the space doesn't matter because like what's the most important space to take right now? The high ground. Yeah, take the high ground. Like, just just walk on the high ground. <laughs> it, it, it's as simple as, like, walking on the high ground, yeah. So you need to be, like, clearing high ground. And if they take the fight like this, then, like, for this, like, probably, like, if, if they... Uh, since they lost him, since they lost the May, like, they can end like this and not worry about the wall. That's why they press W. Okay, so now stand behind part. Reset, reset. Don't take more poke. You just want like full reset there. Yeah. Wait for May. Like just hold it to here. Wait for cooldowns to come back before going in. So we decided to do this rotation, which is okay. We're rotating away from their Hanzo. That's another option. As you can see, this is uh, why did this work? Because they weren't ready and they weren't fast enough, and the Hanzo doesn't have the sight lines. Yeah, like the Hanzo can't hit like your backline from here. Like can't hit like backline from here. And so, like, you have two options. You can either clear the high ground or you rotate away from the high ground. And, like, but, like, personally, I like clearing the high ground if you have time. And why do you, why do you think clearing the high ground is good for your team? Because it's better to have the high ground, because you can't always shoot at it. Because, but, like, like you can't, like, jump. Who wants to be using the high ground? Uh, Soldier and Baptiste. And D.Va. Mm -hmm. Diva wants to have, uh, be on high ground so he, he can save booster. Like by taking the high ground, you give give the high ground to your team. And so like honestly, like how people how people have learned Ryan for like the last couple of years is wrong. You know, Ryan, like you when you, when you like first learned Ryan, were you like told to, like just press W and like into the enemy team? Nah, I kind of just. Taught myself, Ryan. Oh. When I first learned it. Did you read any guides or anything? No. Oh. The only thing I mainly ever really had to like learn that I was really shit on was Winston, because for a while I just could never play him good compared to like Ryan and Arissa. But the culture is just like the kind of the same like. 
you know, like Ryan is just so associated with pressing W that people forget to like check their sex. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Like you, you, you can be pressing W, but the W might not be the space that you want to take for your team. So right here, like, we just need to be holding this choke. Like we get a wall, but this may wall is pretty is not. But, but this main wall doesn't matter, like, you can just go behind it. And we intend into the main wall, so right here, like, we don't, we don't, don't, pull, don't push the main wall, it's a bad wall. Just hold here defensively, just hold the corner. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could shatter. I think I tried to shatter. Oh, no, I save it because we got the kill there. Okay, this is a bit risky, though. So right here, um, they ate the grab, I'm like, Bebop ate the grab, that's right, that's good. But like, mm -hmm. should we really be like, pushing hard when you have like, this much HP? Yeah. Thank goodness this Hanzo didn't like, know how to climb, that he could climb May walls, otherwise he would've been dead. I was kinda just focused on making sure we kill her and I knew I could probably do it with a pen since the wall was there, but, but I probably should've. <laughs> it's more about like, less being about like, I wanna be aggressive all the time, more like, I could just win by like using this window, right? Mm. If, if they just keep peeking this window, what are you gonna do? Shoot them. They're gonna die. Kill them eventually. They're gonna die. They have to back up. And like, you wait for your cooldowns to reset, you wait for your HP to reset, and then you push in. You don't push in with like 100 HP. Even if it's- even if the target's behind a May wall. Unless it's like a perfect May wall that like separates the back line from the front line. It's not a perfect May wall, look, the honest trying to like kill you. And the honest like kind of chicken, chickens out. Like honestly, what we should be doing now is actually uh, we get the Ryan good, right? Yeah. We should we just shoot this, just shoot like the thing, shoot like the Zarya, kill the Zarya, and then yeah, and then. Yeah, just yeah, good, good. Just clear your flanks first, and then push. So right here, what do we want to be doing? Getting high ground, which I didn't yesterday. Yeah. So this Ryan is kind of dumb. Okay, now push them back. Push them back to the. Top. Okay, now what? What do we want to be doing? Like getting high ground, so I'm trying to. Go low or we can get boots. And why do you think that's the case? Because like, this is making space, but oh, but this is where they're holding, right? This is where they want to hold. Yeah. And like, what if they just put a Hanzo up there? Look at what this, how much value this Hanzo got? Because nobody was contesting high ground. Like, it's not even scrim dependent. You should be doing it in your ranked games as well. And you can see the Hanzo got like the. But more importantly, like, here's the thing: like this, this, this Ryan got that shadow, right? But like, imagine if we were on high ground and we just dropped on the back line. If, yeah. if this Ryan didn't react fast enough, all we all we all we literally have to do is like we rush this way, rush these people. Put a May wall here and then they're dead. Well, oh shit, this is not this is our team, what? <laughs> Holy shit, I'm blind. But like this Hanzo, you know, same thing. Mm. Or at least he forces Hanzo into a position where he has less value, like here. But like yeah, like there's a main tank, like you take the space that matters. You don't take the space that doesn't matter. Like you, you, you could you could hypothetically like let's say let's say you can take all the space up to here. Would you take this offer? Nah, it doesn't do anything. Well, like, what can the enemy team do? You can just go around it, right? And, like, stop the car. That yeah. space doesn't matter. You press W. Uh, I, I, I took press W to extreme, but, like, look, the space doesn't matter. Like, this is how much space that doesn't matter. I'm, I'm scrolling all through it. And arguably, even here, doesn't matter. This is what matters. This high ground. Okay, so this is a cleanup fight. So right here, like, um, we have a Shatter, we have ultimates. 
and like honestly, like we could just like try to diva bomb here. They're kind of the, the these people are kind of stupid. I tried to get the guy to pop. The fire strike was. Right here, like, don't hold, don't hold in the open like this too much. Like, so first you start this corner and then like, just, just shield hop, just shield hop, like, shield, 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 close the distance because like, the longer you take, who's gonna win in a poke battle? The thunders. And why? Look at the heroes that we're running. Um, well, to yeah. be fair, um, I mean like they are running tracer, like. Honestly, like, I take that back. Like, why are they running Tracer? I was expecting to run something like, you know, Mei or Kree, but... Honestly, like, I, I give a slight poke advantage to you all, so... So... So, like, what you could do is, like, you could, like... You could just, like, shield up... You could have, like, just, like, took this slow, but even then, like... They're the defender, so, like, they want to kind of be poking as well more than you want to be poking them because like they can just use cover but like not not every enemy will give you such an easy like you know task but like what do you want to be doing what should be your fight plan here uh try to make room so we can get the stairs and go high ground yeah just like just like shield hop may walls like maybe here and then like try to like you know just take the high ground away like, but honestly, you all have ultimates. You can just like press Q. And in this case, if you're pressing Q, you shouldn't be like this hesitant. You just you should just press W. Like, hold this corner, wait for healing. Well, part of the reason was that you also went went out with, like 368 HP. Like right here, like just wait for HP and just just shield hop. Just like be decisive. But like, look at how much HP you're wasting here. How much shield? 800, 700. And let's see how much shield the Ryan, enemy Ryan has. It has like 400 more. E even though they're on an inferior poke comp. And by the time you reach there, like, you're... you're sh Ooh, good shatter, good shatter, but... It was a bit, like, you know, slow, right? Oh, that was just unfortunate. But let's see, right here they give... Okay, right here, like, you see the Rhine back up, so you decide to chase the Rhine, but... What's the problem here? Please see us on top, can't do everybody. But more importantly, over. look at this. Uh, like, so D.Va can clear this, but, like... D.Va's not always gonna reliably clear your angles like this. What we should be doing is, is like... Hey, push this Rhine to the corner, like, have, ha have your corner. We just like go here. We just speed on to here. We clear the tracer. Like part of the reason the tracer got so much value because like look at the, look at how much the tracer was doing. Well, I predict the tracer would do a lot. Look, like, the DM was good, but the kill threat was there. Like, you should have just, like, you know, walked, 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 cleared his Tracer, walked, cleared his Hanzo, cleared his Ana, forced him back here, and then, like, we use this high ground as to drop on their back line if they don't drop, fall back enough. Like, this is, see how much impact, more impact you could have on the fight? Yeah. If you, um, if you took the spaces that matter. Like, this Ana is kind of stupid. I don't know. See, this this team fight is just a cluster fuck. I was trying to call targets. Mm, like generally in those, I'm not too interested in looking. Right now you take the. Right now you kind of take the thing. So, well, why is the team stacking? Well, this was actually a bad shatter by them. Wait, but like here's here's like this team mistake. Like um, why were they on low ground? Where were they? And how this fight went was like have like Diva push cart. 
or like not even Diva push cart, maybe May, have May push cart like put the put put like Kree on high ground, put like even May, put like Diva on high ground. Don't put May on high ground, but put Diva on high ground. Put like Dap on high ground. Put these three on high ground. You hold this corner right here, and mm -hmm. like Lucio with Lucio, but and see how hard this would this would be for the enemy to push into. Yeah. Because you're pushing into the high ground, you're pushing, you're, you're, you're exposing your back line. The enemy has to like actually take the high ground as a team. They actually have to like waste the time to rush this way and like drop before contesting cart. And uh, being a time like you're you're putting cart pressure, so like you're, you're you're like putting pressure like the team pressure this way of you. But like I'm gonna put this mention this team bot. The team has to be taking high ground. They can't be AFK on cart like this. Like you see, you see, like how Shatter's like more powerful in low ranks than high ranks. It's because yeah. everyone just stacks on the cart, and like you get a free Shatter this way. And right here, you lose your BAP, so don't hold shield like this. Your only chance of pull. So let me put it this way: um, you lose a BAP. If you just do this, like, just wait for the amp heals, or just reset. Honestly, yeah, you're already low HP. Like don't don't keep feeding them all charge. Reset, reset, reset. And the great thing is I can even like reset like all the way back here, right? So that so that or you can like you can even try to like secure the rotation and like you know rotate back into the high ground. So that like you already have the high ground next fight. So like you can begin the next fight with the advantage, right? While they try to like yeah. chase people. Even though I wouldn't recommend because like the enemy team might also be taking the high ground. You know, um, it's lucky, luckily this is like flat. This is a bit of a, like because the reset was late, like look at how like painful the reset was. Okay, this window was early. They could just kite back. Okay, right here you, you didn't have enough time to take the high ground, so I understand. Wait, why are you giving up so much space though? Uh, because I wanted to make sure rip everybody because they kept trying me to wait and three wasn't with us. That's why I turned. I mean, like, I mean you can survive for like a couple seconds but... Yeah, I mean, don't, don't give away this much space because like... Mm, like, don't give away this corner for free. What is this wall? Oh, that's a lot of Rhine Dance there. Step right up. So right here, like, you have Shatter. Like, who's the most vulnerable target right now? Uh, I... Yeah. I'm on the stairs. And uh, this is actually a mistake. Why did they like come down the stairs? Why don't they just try to set up this angle to punish you for not clearing high ground? But um, uh, I don't know. But well, I'm just like yeah. So they made a mistake. So like, you're you kind of too tunnel vision on like the tank v tank battle. Like Ryan versus Ryan versus Ryan. Ryan mirrors are less about winning the tank battle nowadays. It's more about like getting trying to win without having to like you know slog through the Ryan. Like right here, like, like this was an easy shatter. Well, I, uh, uh, well, my thought process there was like, if I pushed up there and moved their tanks back, I kind of thought everyone else was gonna shoot them. That's kind of why I was kind of focusing around there because they were all over there. So I thought if I pushed up a little bit, then everybody else behind me would see the three over there. Okay. I don't know if they did or not, but well, the problem is that like. You're pushing up, but like you're not clearing the flanks. So like, look at your look at how much Kree and value this Kree will get. Like, like it's like you, it's not like old Ryan. Like the traditional thinking of Ryan is not like, hey, my teammates will like clear these flanks for me. No, they won't because like they need help to clear these flanks, right? Mm. Like a solo Kree, like it's a this is a skill matchup. It's not like guaranteed, but like Ryan versus Kree, like. That's no longer a skill matchup, it's more like a guaranteed matchup in favor of you if you're on close sight lines. But look, 
Look, look at how much free damage. And like, let's look at the Ana. Like, uh, like, you slept. Like, like, imagine if that nade hit. Yeah. Part of the reason we play D.Va is like to clear angles, but like it's also your partly your job to clear angles. Mm -hmm. So like, and also finally have shatter. Like, if you want to shatter the tanks, like you're you're gonna need to wait for like that those bubbles to like go away. But like, if you shatter here, the shatter is basically free. Like, just get Diva to DM you. Like, Divas like can DM you, DM the flashbang. So like, just shatter like the squishies and go for them. You don't need to win the tank battle before shooting squishy. I mean like hammering squishies. Otherwise, like you're just gonna you're just not gonna leave them unchecked and they're just gonna do so much damage. Like, and also like, do you ever feel like in games like you're you're just getting spammed out so much you can't do anything? Uh, I feel that way more in Winston than I do in Ryan. Like. Do you feel like your team's like, well, like not clearing angles? Uh, not usually. Uh, well, like, how often do you play that? Rank? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I try to do it every week, but. Um, I mean, like, every couple days I do it. Typically, I try to call out the stuff on the side. But, uh, wouldn't it be better if you didn't rely on your teammates and... and because, obviously, you don't want to be carried by, like, gold plat players. Mm. Like, 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 as Ryan, like, you don't need to rely on your teammates to clear flags, you just clear them yourselves. Ready. Like, the reason I'm saying this, like, over and over again this run, it's because it's so important. It's like, if you if you don't clear flanks, like, if you don't clear flanks, like, it's, it, it, it's like, the number one reason for losing fights before they even, like, finish. For example, we saw the, we saw, like, the... We saw like the um, uh, what's it called uh, the the Hanzo getting value. Now we saw like the squid, like you know the Kree getting value, and all of these three. Mm But anyways, um, I'm sorry for this, but uh, <laughs> I think I need to take a break. I'm kind of yeah, exhausted. No, you're good. I gotta get going. Anyways, uh, thank you for tuning in, chat, and uh, and also I hope that was helpful, especially with the yeah. lesson, but some with the rhyme. Yeah. Anyways, uh, see you all later, chat. We were viewers, and feel free to follow. But like, I assume everyone here is already followed, so thank you. Anyways, uh, peace.